What is going on, guys? <laughs> How are we all doing? Damn, it is a late one on a Sunday night as well. Um, yeah, it's the, <laughs> it's the only time I could kind of fit in uh, the stream in. Hang on, have I got everything? Have I got everything all right? I think I have. Hope so. Let me sort this out a sec. Yeah. Just want to make sure everything looks good on my end. Oh, let's turn my voice off. So unprofessional. Sweet. So I think we all good. Um, I set all this up, um, so all the settings and stuff should be all good. Any audio, um, you know, issues or anything, just let me know. But I think, uh, you know, my voice and the stream should all be fine. Um, yeah, I've just, uh, <laughs> damn, that time went fast. I set the uh, the countdown going and all that. And, uh, yeah, just went and made my G Fuel. I've got the, the PewDiePie... Um, flavour tonight. But yeah, I've literally um, got off work. Um, I was a bit late, so that's why, um, obviously, uh, I've had to push the stream back for about half an hour. Uh, so yeah, showered, had my Sunday dinner, and then got the G Fuel on the go, and then I'm pumped to play. So ready too. Let's go. So let's jump into it. There we are. So we're just we're just going to go through the, uh, the total, like, original... Um, Claire A, because this is how it's actually meant to be played. Um, the order is meant to be like Claire A, Leon B. So that is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do Claire A tonight, and then the next stream will most likely be uh, Leon B. We shall do that. So uh, yeah, we we'll go on. Yeah, let's make sure everything's all good. So we'll go on normal mode. President. Jump into it. I'm gonna be quiet during all the cutscenes and stuff, just gonna take them in. And if you see me looking away, I'm just literally making sure that the stream looks all good. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. So that was so dead for when I was up. That was so dead when I looked at the camera and just. Wait, because James uh, says in the, the chat, hi, Hostel. I was just saying hi, silently, while the cutscene was playing. Here we go, it's Claire on a Harley Davidson. I don't know if it actually is a Harley Davidson. <sighs> I'm finally here. Hello, is anyone here? Hello? The iconic moment in come in. Huh? Wait, don't shoot. Get down. <laughs> we can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Go. 
going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Did you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. You better take it with you. Ah! No! <laughs> Leon zombie attacking Leon. <laughs> that was amazing back then. You okay? Still in one piece. I'll meet you there. Okay. So it's absolutely iconic. You never get a sword. I've seen it a million times, the opening cutscene. Um, and yeah, depending on whether you play as Leon or Claire, that zombie... Hang on. Let me just... Oh, hang on. That's fine. Um, it stayed... Uh, the controls have stayed how I configured them, so I had to change them. Um, yeah, so they've stayed, stayed as they are, so that's a nice surprise. Um, yeah, depending on whether you play as Leon or Claire, uh, the zombie will either... I think it's if you're Leon, the zombie will uh, go through the back window. If you're Claire, it'll go through the front window, because it like depends like um, you know which one you're playing as, as to yeah which side of the car you're going to spawn, Freeze. which scenario and stuff. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human! Sorry about that, babe. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that, babe. He loves it, doesn't he? I thought you were one of them. You should know that rough does What's she? going on in this town? Hold on. You got no clue, darling. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. My man, Bobby Kendo, he loves Claire. Babe and darling, we've only been playing like less than two minutes. So, see in the chat. So James already said hi, Holster. My cousin Luke's in the chat. Hello, hello. Just started RE8. What a beginning. So confused on things, but looking forward to finding out what the hell is going on with. I know, it's really confusing at the start. It does eventually piece together, but RE8 is very, um, yeah, it's just like, what on earth is even going on? But you just carry on playing anyway, and uh, it, it soon gets explained. Um, but yeah. I can't wait to do another playthrough of RE8. Um, I'll be wanting to go back and uh, play through it again. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be uh, streaming that on the channel at some point. Oh, I was waiting for the... Oh no, he's already been eaten, I know. Um, yeah, I don't usually hang around for the shotgun or anything. Or maybe I should have done being Claire, but... Um, yeah. I'm basically... Um, I, I am going to be picking up bullets and stuff on the way. Because uh, I just want to play as, uh, you know, the, the normal costume. Because usually I do the whole no pickup thing and get to the police station. Um, if you do that on normal difficulty, don't pick anything up till you get to the police station. And then use all your bullets. And believe me, you're going to need all of them on the uh, Brad zombie that you find um, under the, like, the archway thing. Um, then, yeah, you get a, a key uh, for the special costumes. Yeah, we'll just conserve some ammo here. Uh, yeah, Falcon Scott, evening. How am I? Yeah, I'm all good, man. Yeah, I know the, the intro is incredible. It never gets old. Um, yeah, James, I, I have seen the new Resi movie. Um, I was saying on the last stream, on the uh, Resi 3 Nemesis stream, you know, I actually enjoyed it. Like, I kind of... I know it's bad, and like, I know it sucks, like, because I had people in the comments saying it sucked. Um, yeah, like... It, it is good, though. I did enjoy it. Let's see if I can just get past her. Yeah. Let's try to conserve a bit of ammo if we can. Sweet. Um, but yeah, it, it is full. It is loaded of uh, video game references. Um, all your uh, itchy, tasty, dual sandwich, all that lot. It, it's great. Um, there's many moments that I was sitting back just 
just giggling to myself. It is fun. Um, but yeah, honestly, it is no way near as bad as the Paul Anderson movies. Uh, we're going to take a bite here, because just to save some ammo. And we'll see her kick off this woman's head. Nice. It's just the violence we needed on a Sunday evening. Um, no point making sure he's dead dead, because we ain't coming back in here. Just trying to, like I say, just conserve bullets as and where I can. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I've accepted that um, Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City It is the closest we're going to get to Resident Evil on the screen Because I, I think the, these games, how do you even capture the the nostalgia, the classic like vibe? I think it says like, it's too dangerous to go back outside Yeah, uh, I remember that word for word <laughs> um, Yeah, it's like it's hard to, how do you even capture that on a movie, you know? Um, but... <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, brace yourself for Leon. They did screw up his character. Some of the characters, they're, they're not that great. Um, but yeah. Overall, it's alright. It's not as bad as the Paul Anderson movie. Yeah, let me know if you've seen it, James, and anyone else in the chat, obviously. Let me know if you've seen the movie and what you thought, because it's had proper... I would say mixed reviews, but actually mainly bad reviews. But... Um, yeah, there's some people who can, uh, who can, you know, cope with it. I can just about cope with it because I love Rezzy. <laughs> it's our boy Marvin. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris... Jill Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other Stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. At the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Clearly not. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. <laughs> That's pretty harsh. I'm gonna go to Claire's house. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. I mean, you couldn't understand with Leo because like they're both guys, but to to raise a handgun at a woman, what kind of man are you, Marvin? <laughs> I've got to say, you know, playing Claire's scenario is very fresh to me. Genuinely, I've not played Claire's scenario in so long. I've not played it anywhere near as much as Leon's scenario, so. This is really weird having 13 bullets in the handgun. I feel insulted right now. <laughs> We're gonna have to cope with it. Um, yeah, the game is so 90s to this day. Absolutely incredible. Um, it just never gets old, that 90s vibe. It's still come back to it all these years later. 24 years later. Um, I was hoping to um, stream this um, on the on the 24th. Um, on the, on the 24th. 21st um, of, uh, yeah, this month the 24 year anniversary of this game but um yeah i'd like a technical issue with uh, obs unfortunately and uh, it took me a while to figure out uh, yeah i am wearing the uh, my rpd outfit uh, scott yeah absolutely oh it's that one it's that one i've got the little uh, rpd patch on <laughs> i feel badass wearing it when i'm playing the game um so police memorandum i'll, I'll read these out cuz uh, I, I like piecing it all together and just kind of gathering all the uh, you know the documents in the games so, 8-23-1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. Safe with four-digit lot has been moved from the Stars office on the second floor to the Eastern office on the first floor. 2236. I knew that anyway. I knew that. It's been that many times. Um, yeah. Yeah, work was good. Thanks, Scott. Um, but yeah, I just got off... Uh, oh, the luxury of having the lock pick, man. Totally forgot about that. Um, but yeah, uh, I was just a little late off, so I had to just push the stream back for half an hour, um, just so I had time to like, just like I say, travel home, uh, get shop, get food. Um, yeah, 
I've noticed with like a lot of the um the the big res YouTubers that I watch, like loads of them like use the knife and utilize the knife, and I I get it, I totally get it, and honestly hats off to them. Um, I'm not someone who, to utilize. Oh yeah, there we go. That iconic moment. I I don't really utilize the knife. It's just like the stabbing isn't like the smoothest. You have to get quite up close ish to the zombies and. I just don't like taking the hits, you know. So uh, I, I never really get the uh, the knife out. <clears throat> Not at least in in these retro games, anyway. Oh man, it's just iconic scene after another. It never gets old. <gasps> Stop sipping G fuel and focus on evading this liquor. Let's go. Oh my god, that was quick. You was quick there, Mr. Liquor. What the hell? Very much like predicting my movement there. Um, James, not seen the Resi movie yet, but looks more faithful to the games. Agreed, it is more faithful. Not going in there just yet, because obviously there's the fireplace to light, and we don't have the luxury, uh, like Leon does, of having the lighter on us. We need to collect that from somewhere. Um, however, at least we have the luxury of the, the lockpick. I'll take that. Mm. I like to, in this in this corner, I usually like to get get this end and then you can just blast me to come off screen. Um, what up, Dano? I'm all good, thanks, man. I know, 24 years. How old are we all feeling? That makes us all mega old. How do you feel, guys? How does it feel? How old were you guys when you first played this game? Mm. I think I was about seven or eight years old and my dad introduced me to this game. Um, but yeah, it's, it's mega special to me, this game. I'd say I'm, I'm sure it was the first Resi game I've played. Um, I'm sure it was this one and then it was... I can't remember which order he bought them. Like He bought all three, the first three Resi games on PS1, but I can't remember in what order he bought them. Um, I'd say it was this one I played first, then, I don't know, it might have been the third one, and then the first. Yeah, James, great memories playing this for the first time on my PlayStation. Absolutely epic, isn't it? Like, I'll tell you what, guys, I, I collect a lot of retro gaming magazines. See, that's, um, if you don't collect anything until the police station, then obviously you can, uh, you get some alternate costumes. I will do more playthroughs, like, um, and with the uh, alternate costumes on. Operation Report 2. I'll just read through this. Early morning, 2.30am. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. Damn, David! We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precincts underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Record it, Elliot Edward. Well, thanks for that, Elliot. So we happen to, uh, we found that. Uh, yeah, so nothing in here as of yet. I'll collect the, the ink ribbon just cause and we'll just, we'll just get it stored anyway. We'll just, what I'll do, um, I like to usually have my items there. I like to usually have that there and then leave a bit of room. Just a bit. And then we'll start, like, the health items. So I like to just have them there. Bit of items, bit of help. <clears throat> James, you was 22 when this was released. If we do a bit of maths, we can work out how old you are, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely iconic. 98. 1998. Marvin's going to turn to a zombie in a minute. I know, just as we're doing this puzzle, Scott, just think Marvin is turning and we're doing nothing about it. Hang on, I've just realised, he locks the door behind us, and we have a lockpick, and she is not trying to pick the lock. 
But then again, he, he did hold a gun to her head. I think that's pretty harsh. Doing that to a gal, you know? A little dainty gal like Claire. I mean, fair enough doing it to Leon to toughen him up. Because he's all rookie cop first on the job and that, but... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it, honestly, it's really refreshing playing as Claire. Because I, I always choose Leon all the time, all day, every day. Um, but I thought, no, I'll play it like the... Um, as they say, the, the canon way to play it. This is the scenario it should be. Um, I've watched videos on why it should be played like this, but I, I can't even. I've got the worst memory ever. So don't ask me why it should be played in uh, Claire A. Leon B. Because I, I, I can't remember. But yeah. I just have the worst memory, that's all. I watch so much RE content. Alrighty. So they are, <clears throat> if you've seen here, it's not absolute HD and crisp and everything, but these are items from RE1. So it's like the gold emblem and like the, the red book and stuff. So it's all taken as evidence. Chris's diary. So this is very specific to Claire, obviously. Brother and sister. So August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? I know, Chris, God damn it, they don't give up. That's why we've got all these games and we're still playing it. 24 years later. <laughs> we talked it over and I've decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Suppose we can forgive you, big bro. I assume he's a big bro anyway. Nice. Look at that beret. Beret. There we go. Grenade launcher. So early in the game as well. I'm sure like the sometimes um, a thing in that. Or am I thinking of RE3? So guys, shall we do? We'll, we'll, I'll give you the treat tonight, okay? So, some of you guys might know. Don't even ask how I know. Well, it, gamefacts.com, this website. I've lost count already how many times I've clicked on this. But if you, you click on this 50 times, you do this, this exact dialogue. We have to put up with this 50 times, and then you get a film to develop downstairs. So we'll do that, because it'll be rude not to. Dano, Marvin always reminds me of the Fresh Prince that absolutely. In the RPD, born and raised. In the Eastern office. Is it the Eastern? It's where I spend most of my days. <laughs> yeah. The fresh zombie of the RPD. He literally is. He's, he's the freshest zombie right now. Because he's transforming. And we're doing nothing about it. The guilt is real. Believe me, the guilt is real. We at 50 yet? <clears throat> There we go. You received the film. How would anyone know to do this? Hope this game comes out for the Nintendo Switch. It'll be a dream come true. I absolutely agree, Scott. Picture of the Stars members. Um, I, I said this on the previous uh, stream. I want a real good HD, massive, crisp, high-quality photo of this. And I want to frame it. And have it on my coffee table in my uh, living room <laughs> downstairs. Tony's arms. If you're going to fall into any arms, it's got to be Tony's arms. Yeah, it's in this scenario the fax machine goes off, innit? Yeah, Scott, it'd be incredible if this came out on the Nintendo Switch. You can imagine with, like, updated graphics and stuff. Federal Police Death Internal Investigation Report. Mr. Chris Redfield... Reckham City Police Death Star Division. As per your request, we've conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. Number one, regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc. So far, it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. Two, regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Reckham City Police Death, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella Inc. 
over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the mansion lab case, along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons had been arrested on the suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. Well, like, imagine putting this in the game. I know you're trying to paint a, a bad picture here, but imagine if they did this nowadays while putting a sentence like that in the game. It is a bit much, isn't it, really? It escalates so quickly in this, uh, in this letter. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton. Yeah, Chris, make sure you don't grab those biceps. <laughs> yeah, James, played all Resi games except six. Didn't like the look of that one. Yeah, I, I get what you mean with that. Um, literally, I think all the Resi games... Um, I pretty much uh, bought when they first come out. Pretty much all of them. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I was disappointed with 6. Um, it, it's absolutely, I would say, not the strongest in the series. But I, I'd probably go as far to say it is the weakest in the series. And, like, the majority of Resi fans uh, share that same belief. Um, I mean, you know, you get three campaigns. The shorter campaigns, anyway. But you get Leon. Uh, you get... Chris and you get a guy called Jake and he's all um what's the style of the fight is like martial arty sort of thing so yeah you get Leon which is the closest to survival horror you'll get in Resi 6 Chris is more action and uh yeah um we'll keep that on as action in case we need to get some liquors I think and then uh <clears throat> Jake is like like I say all the the fighty one so should we develop the film and see what we got this is our Sunday night viewing, guys. Uh, it is, this is Rebecca Chambers in her RPD netball outfit. So there you go. A toast to Rebecca Chambers' netball. Basketball, sorry. I think it's basketball. I always hated netball. They always made us do it in PE. Girls, all the time. And I just wanted to play football. We could, ne We never did it. And... It's always netball, and it sucks because once you get the ball, you can't move. What is the point in that? Um, Falcon Scott is 17 when I was playing this game. Yeah, I was like 7 or 8 years old. It's actually ridiculous. <laughs> Who's more badass? Jill. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It catches me out every time. Every damn time. Every time. Seriously, all these years later. Who's more badass, Jill or Claire? I would probably say um, Jill because um, obviously of her experience uh, being in stars. Oh, we're gonna have to we'll go easy. I think we're gonna kill this. I usually I usually kill these. I've seen a lot of uh, people that they like to just. Uh, I mean, it's all personal preference. Some people like to just run past them, but I don't know if that's gonna reach. You know, because you you can see her, but she's not pointing it up at a very good angle. There we go. So we'll do this. Such a nice change using this, Max. I'm so used to the shotgun, obviously, with Leon. Um, but at the same time, though, you can't deny... Um, I mean, both Leon and Claire, they both grow in this game. Like, I mean, Claire, maybe she's got a bit of... Um, I don't know. Maybe Chris, over the years, as her brother, has like, like, encouraged her to you know, be like a strong individual. But she seems like she can carry herself well. I mean, she doesn't seem terrified, does she, in the opening FMV? So you do have faith in her as a character. Don't you really? I mean, she's she's she seems inexperienced from what we know about her and everything at this point. Um, but yeah, she does grow in this game um, to be a really good figure for Sherry, especially, and that's important to Sherry as well. They really bond because Sherry always says, um, well, she says to Claire anyway in her cutscene, uh, a mum and dad, um, William Birkin and Jeanette Birkin, both scientists. They've both never had time for her because they were so caught up in their work and research. They didn't, like, have family time with her and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Like, um, like, she has that, um, do I go as far as to say that maternal kind of factor in her as well? So, like I say, she can be, she's like a role model to Sherry as well. But, I mean, overall, my instinct says Claire. Uh, my instinct says Jill, sorry, because of her experience. <clears throat> Patrol report, September 20th. 
Sergeant Neil Carlson. We've received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recorded the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 9 times 19 parabellum rounds, and an infrared scope, which was broken. End of report. As far as I know, I think it's just an ink ribbon in that. We won't overload our soldier stuff. <clears throat> But yeah, <laughs> Pervert Wesker. I know, man. It's unreal, innit? Like, he keeps that on his desk. I mean, of all the things, it's just so funny that they thought to include it. It's like, what are you on about? What would you like to see in the next Resident Evil game? Oh, jeez, I don't even... Honestly, James, I don't even know where to start. Because it's just... There's just so much going on. Um, in honesty, I've kind of like forgot a little bit of um, some of the story of Resi 7. It was that kind of overwhelming. Um, Resi 8 was good. I enjoyed that a bit more than 7. But when, when I try to think to the storyline and like, right, where did they go from here? It's just like, I feel like so overwhelmed. Um, there's just so much going on. So I, I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't know, I mean, do they introduce new characters? Do they keep bringing back Chris? Do they say farewell to Chris in some way? Whether it be a death or not. Um, but it, it is still incredible seeing Chris um, in the later ones. In the later Aries. Ah! And the babysitting begins. There we go, guys. It's the start of babysitting. I don't think we really need to come down this corridor again. So we'll just start. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the spade key's pretty short-lived. It's our first key done. Completed it. <clears throat> Leon. Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you just missed her. She just toddled off. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Give me and Leon, two peas in a pod. <laughs> I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. You're just touching that sir. I always, I, I thought when when Leon came walking for me, I was like, "Did you really squeeze through that?" But I'm thinking he probably chased Sherry and she went through that. Leon probably got in the other side via the library. Um, do you prefer first person or over the shoulder? Ooh, gotta be over the shoulder. However, still, I still love Village over RE7. Um. I do love uh, Village, and uh, yeah, I love Ari, so I love those ones, but yeah, there's something about the over the shoulder. What I'll do, I'll go, I'll go use the crank, I mean, it's not really going to get us anywhere as of yet, but um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go use that, uh, just to get it out of our inventory. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys prefer. If you, if you like the first person over the shoulder. Um, oh shit, I forgot about that. I'm trying to flame. Oh shit, I'm not going to go far with that. I'll take a couple of hits. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. But um, yeah, I, I still do, I, I still love the first person though. Um, yeah, especially in Village, incredible game. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm so hyped to go back to that game. Oh yeah, it's hoping Capcom um, remake Code Veronica. Absolutely. Um, I'll be honest, it took me like quite some years to kind of warm to it. So I'll just show you guys up here. We still need the cog wheel to open this chute. So let's just show you guys like what I'm I'm ditching at the moment. There's a little gap. Yeah, just there. Yeah, I just got rid of the crack. <clears throat> but yeah, it, it took me some years to warm to Code Veronica, to be honest, because I, I actually didn't play it till 
I remember playing it briefly at my uncle's when it was on the PS2. Um, never played it on Green Dreamcast because I never owned one until years later. Uh, I own it now on the Dreamcast. Um, it, it looks beautiful for the time it was made. Absolutely, honestly, I think the Dreamcast is a stunning console. <laughs> That's such a stylish landing. <laughs> she managed to land pretty gracefully there. But yeah, as I've uh, completed uh, Code Veronica a couple of times, um, yeah, I have warmed to it, and I think it's pretty good. Because at first, I, I thought it was really weird. I was like, who the hell are these? You know, um, Alfred uh, and Alexia Ashworth and all that. I was like, who on earth are these? And so I thought, it's, I thought there was kind of um, digressing a bit from like the you know the main story, main character. I was, I was a bit like, what on earth's going on? But so happy to play as Claire though. And uh, she's even got a Made in Heaven thing on as well. Uh, I can't remember if. I don't think there is. I think it's in the B scenario. My mind's a little foggy, so I don't play these. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's just I've not not played Claire's scenario in a bit. I didn't know if this was going to be something different, but I'll clear these out anyway. Because we're going to be doing a couple of trips. Uh, we're doing some trips around. Claire. Stop. Aim at him on the floor. He's playing dead. Don't be fooled. I told you. Yeah, um, I was actually, I got Code Veronica on the 360, on my Xbox 360, but um, yeah, so I, I started uh, doing a playthrough of it, right, and I had to, I've had to abandon it, like, is it like halfway through the game? I can't remember how, how long roughly, but that tyrant boss on the plane, that one, I've not got, honestly, I've got quite a bit of ammo and resources right but it's just not enough and um i actually searched a thing on youtube um just like how on earth people defeat because i've got like a grenade launcher and like all the rounds and stuff but I, nothing is doing anything to it like you know and um yeah this person who i saw um complete it on the on youtube like they were using um they had the it's called the bow gun, it's not the crossbow. Like the bow gun. And there was piling that into it and it's it was effective. Like whereas I'd used all that and all the bows and that I have for it, I'd used it all, I depleted. Like But yeah, um because I, I don't rate it on Code Veronica. I thought it was awful, but for some reason on this playthrough I was watching, maybe I'll watch more playthroughs to see, you know, what what other people do. But yeah, they they just got the the tyrant boss on that, but Jeez, I'd used mine already. So, yeah, it can actually be game over if, uh, yeah, if you're not well prepared for that. So, lesson learned. Anyway, <laughs> Chief Secretary's Diary A, April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the Chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe you shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th. I heard that all the art pieces from the Chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May the 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the Chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. He's so messed up. It's unreal. I was appalled by the expression on the Chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work about is beyond my comprehension. That's literally what I just said. It's unreal. The chief is so messed up. He's so messed up, man. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, come face to face with the chief pretty soon. Um, we don't need that just yet. I'll keep it up there with the items. Um deposit that as well. I'm just going to take a green for now. I can't remember. Oh, I don't know if there's... I can't remember if there's zombies or liquors in this bit. That's why it makes it easier. <clears throat> She's got an absolute resting bitch face. Look, she really, she really ain't in the mood. Uh. 
have I seen the kendo mod? Oh my god, yes. I've actually got the kendo mod. I've got the uh, the kendo's cup, which is the Leon um, like campaign scenario. And I've got the uh, Kendo's mod Uncut, which is the Clay scenario. So yeah, um, I actually plan to play them. Um, I'm so excited for them. Really am. Yeah, it's just honestly, it's hilarious. It really is the best mod. Um, just Kendo just turning up. Just whenever. Robert Kendo, he does what he wants. Yeah, you just literally be, um, just run down the corridor and you'll hear his shriek, you're like, Whoa! You just burst through the wall. And he does help you as well. He, he does blast, like, the odd zombie for you as well. You kind of got the sounds in a weird camera angle, so. That's it. That's the interval on screen. Don't really need to kill him all. She's got red converse on as well. At least she died with style. I'm more of a Vans person though, to be honest, rather than Converse. I don't, I just don't feel like I really suit Converse, to be honest. If I did get a pair, I'd probably get like all black Converse, the red smart. Oh, here we go. Speaking of the crossbow. Have I tried resin with PSVR? No, I actually haven't yet. We shouldn't do this, it's really not a smart idea, but it's a scary screen. It used to scare me years, this years ago. <laughs> yeah, um, no. Oh man, I can imagine RE7 must be terrifying. I hate being chased at the best of times. I hate being chased like this, you know, I can... Honestly, I'll be shitting it when I play the B scenario on this channel. Uh, I, I do love it, don't get me wrong, but I hate being chased. Um, yeah, it's like like in the you know RE two and three remakes. Um, what I don't like in the remakes of this is like I just know that like in this I don't have to worry about being chased because in the A scenario Mr X isn't there, but obviously in the B scenario you know to expect it. But in the remakes he's in every scenario because I think they screwed up a bit with the scenarios because there's not enough to distinguish them. Like the they're too similar. They have the small differences, but they're nothing significant. It's like he's still hanging around, so I can properly relax. But I mean, that's all part of the horror, isn't it? I'm surprised there's not some bullets there because I thought there was. I at least thought there was something here. That I, I'm just thinking that, that RPD design is really cool. I'd love to have like a just spray paint my Honda with that. I have a nice blue Honda with the RPD logo on. I should do that. Have you guys seen, it was on eBay when I looked ages ago, um, there is actually a Resident Evil uh, personalised number plate, so it's like, I don't know if it's like R, is it RE51? And then EVL. Absolutely badass. It was on it was on sale for like, I'm sure it was like a few grand or something. I'm sure it was. I can't think it was like two and a half grand. I could be totally wrong, but I, it was something like that. Anyway. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, when them zombie arms come out, Scott, like, it still catches me out all them years later. I still forget sometimes. I, sometimes I remember, but sometimes I don't. <laughs> but they, they were scary, for sure, for the first time. I think the liquor was probably the most terrifying, <laughs> coming across that for the first time. But yeah, them hands, though. Oh, timing on that. Right, so that's like what we read in the uh, the memo thing. Two, two, three, six. Got more variation in the uh, in the rounds for our grenade launcher. I don't know if it's either a hair brand here or yeah, we're all overloaded. Do you see his head turn? That zombie on the floor. Oh damn! Just realised. This is not a good angle to come in this room. Mm. Could just take a bite. We're absolutely loaded in herbs. It's crazy. 
Oh, that's fine. I thought I was going to be like, surrounded because sometimes it gives you the the angle. I'm pointing as if you guys can see me pointing at the screen. Um, I swear sometimes it gives you like an angle. I don't know if it's in the B scenario or not. Um, where they're like all surrounding you. But no, it's handy like that where you come through and they're just over there. You know what? It's actually not too bad. I forget how decent this actually is. It's usually, I think it's just in Code Veronica, it's just weak. Just to help us out. There we go. Nice, nicely done. Just thinking. Yeah, we'll go use the uh, the box. We need to backtrack a bit as well. So we'll go do the box. And we'll go use this lighter in the office. We've not even been in there yet. <clears throat> Got all of those green herbs, James. Absolutely. It's just so convenient having lots of green herbs. I'll tell you why, because I'm gonna. I, yeah, I'll stick this in here for now. Save it for now. Um, yeah, I'll deposit that as well. Yeah, we're good. We don't really need anything else. Not as of yet. That's fine. Yeah, I, I like the green herbs on their own because, say, if I have a green and a red and they're both combined, I'm, I'm more inclined. If I'm on yellow caution, then I'm more inclined to, like, let myself take a few more hits and stuff. And it, it's very. You know, you're dicing with death, literally, when you're doing that with the bosses. And sometimes I let, like, you know, I'm, I'm a bit too casual with it. I let myself get too many hits and then I die. And that's my own fault for being tight with the herbs because I'm trying to preserve them. Whereas, you know, if you're on yellow caution, most of the time, just take a green herb and you're fine. If all that makes sense, anyway. Operation report. Because I, I like to say, um, I like, well, I like to think... That uh, I don't normally end up on orange caution or danger very often. It's just usually yellow caution that is uh, usually about the limit that I end up on. So, the raccoon police deck was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of ornaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered ammunitions. To unlock the weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. That's a badass, that room. Unfortunately, the person in charge the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing, and we have been unable to locate the key. We've done a runner with it. One of the breakers went down during the battle, and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become first priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Recorder David Ford. Operation reports, 10 27th. 1pm. The west barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. 12 more people were injured in the battle. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker. And are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. I, know, I love how it's such an unprofessional name. Like, because they, they don't know what the hell to call it. It's like, it's like they looked at each other in it. Like, what, what do we call it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> and then, then we, we just pick up on it, don't we? And we've always called the Licker. It's just that it's just the rules. It's what they're called. It is what it is. Right, so we can go play some jewels now. The crown jewels. Because we put the uh, <clears throat> we put that fire out. So that's our little exploration over here done. 
But yeah, it's not going too bad. I mean, it's nothing too taxing, Claire's playthrough. I can't remember which way we came. I think it's this way. Anything else that we don't need right now? I don't think we need the uh, the lighter for a little bit. We'll deposit that for now. Um, we can actually take that, I think. Oh, we can't yet. I've just realised. No. I'll deposit it in that save room anyway. There's a save room on route. No, I just realised because we need to... We need to do the cool thing and blow up the uh, thing there, the helicopter. We need the C4 and the detonator. I hate killing someone. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, James. I'm with you on that one. I'll say that on the on Resi 3 as well, actually. Because there's loads of like, stray dogs roaming around the sea. Uh, yeah, I hate zombie dogs. I love dogs in real life, but I hate zombie dogs. Um, so I always take them out. Like I say, a lot of tubers I watch. Well, some, anyway. It all depends on your playstyle and whatever, but some people actually, uh, you know, try and avoid the liquors and the dogs and things like that, and they just keep them roaming around, but I, I like to try kill things when I can. Unlucky you. He's stuck with uh, Chief Brian Irons. He's even just as creepy in the, uh, in the remake. They did a great job making him creepy in that. Alrighty. Titty jewels. Um, right. Yeah. I try and save ammo as and where I can, but I, I do try and eliminate most enemies, though, because I hate knowing things are roaming around. So, we'll check that, just to show you guys. And we have the diamond key. Oh, it's not... You see that glass above us just there? It's not in this one, luckily. It's in the B scenario. The liquor comes smashing through it. The B scenario is, I'd say, significantly difficult. It's a bit more difficult, it is. Um, okay, back this way. Righty. Again, a little more backtracking. Back over to uh, the other side. Trying to think which way is quicker, really. Um, yeah, I go this way, actually. I'll go by the library. <coughs> oh my god, I know, James. Like, the speed runs of this game. It, it's unreal. Um, people complete this in, like... Probably that an hour and 20, something like that. Did I unlock that? Oh, there's nothing more. It's just me being greedy. Um, yeah, I'm I'm absolutely, by any means, I'm absolutely not a speedrunner. Um, I could give it a good go, but I can I cannot um, compete with, uh, with the big guys who do that. The big guys and gal YouTubers. Um, I like to just play for fun. Um, just nice, chill playthrough. Well, I'll say chill. Uh, yeah. I, like, I do like to just chill and play through the games and enjoy them. Um, I mean, you know, you can't beat, like, the thrill of a good speedrun. Um, I did try... I have tried to speedrun this game before. I can't remember what I got. I, I think I did it in, like... It must be about three... I mean, this was years ago, though. It might have been about three hours, 15 minutes, or something daft like that. Um, I can't remember... But I'm sure, on average, it, it only takes me about three, three and a half hours to complete this game, really, I think. Oh, man. It, honestly, it amazes me, this room. It's absolutely... I should have brought the... I should have brought the bow gun, really. I'm just not messing around. It amazes me how many zombies are packed in this room. Just get rid of the last one out as well. I'm just not putting up with it. Not in the mood tonight. 
Oh, oh shit! That generally made me jump. <sighs> oh, we'll go develop it just because we found it. It's hard to see. I can't see properly if you're dead dead or not. Because uh, y'all flames are in the way. Hell yeah. There we go. We're halfway there. We are Bon Jovi with the bomb. There we go. Detonator. Well done, Clay. You're the bomb. Get it. Um, but yeah. I, I do love watching speedruns, though. And uh, I, I think, uh, as Dano mentioned earlier, like, about Bulk Pursuit, if you've not seen that tuber, check him out. He's absolutely incredible skills. He really is. Absolutely unreal. I'll put them stones near each other. Cool. That um, I don't have to keep it on us really. I'll I'll keep I'll keep some acid rounds. I think I just like to in case we run into liquors and stuff. Can't remember exactly what this film is, but we'll just grab it anyway. Nice. That's in like the um, I swear I'm sure that's in like the hidden room. It's that one in the uh, labs where you need like three fingerprints to get in there. And if you do it on like the A and B scenarios, um, yeah, you, you get to like go in there and stuff. So. Yeah. It's a nice little room. It's uh, it's really cool. It's just a nice little uh, behind the scenes thing. I don't know when we find the detonator. I can't really fully remember. But I'm sure it'll be sometime soon. So I'll keep the uh, the plastic thingy on us. Yeah, absolutely. I like to. I, I do like to take my time as well. I can work pretty swiftly um, at this game, especially. Um, I mean, by me, by all means, I'm not the uh, not the uh, quickest and whatever, but. Yeah, I, I'd say I like to go at my own pace. He will keep eating you. <laughs> Who's that? Ain't you all, all ain't on about Marvin? Uh oh. We're gonna have to use an acid round on him, I think. I think we're gonna have to fry Marvin, because if I use that, he's just gonna bite us. But if you really quickly, usually, obviously, as Leon, I blast him in half with a shotgun, you don't have time to aim up for a headshot. Um. So yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fry Marvin. Deep fry Marvin like a KFC. Sorry Marvin. I know we go way back, but Oh his head come off! Oh wow. That Astro made his head come off. Fuck, I'm sorry Marvin. Has anyone actually seen a, a beheaded Marvin? I've not, because I've always just blasted him in half, like, immediately. There we go, I didn't realise we found that so soon. Sweet. Oh, I am sorry, Marvin. Shit. Oh, no bullets there, usually is. Memo to Leon. To Leon S. Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to the Rackham City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as a part of our team, and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. Yeah, welcome aboard, Leon. What a first day for the rookie cop. Alright, so we need to go. Um, we'll go to this diamond key room. And then we shall uh, blow up the uh, the helicopter uh, wreckage. Have some fun. Stop being destructive. It's nice to vary it up with Claire with her playthrough. Mm. Oh shit. Oh. It totally sounded like a yawn. It was such a high pitch. Like, mm. That's so me when I'm tired from work. It's so me when I get in. Me laugh like I, I would love to watch the um, the the zombie actors do the uh, do them zombie moments. Funny as hell, it really is. <laughs> Poor Will Smith, I know. F's in the chat for Will Smith. <laughs> R.I.P. Fresh Marvin of the RPD. 
He is the freshest zombie. We've just seen it with our very own eyes, guys. I think that's it. Right, now it's the, the dreaded room next door. I hate this. It's awful. <sighs> Have we got enough? Uh, oh, oh. I'm sure there's three items we need in here. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Could use a diamond key. Yeah, you preferably need three uh, slots in here because you have... Oh, is it in here? Right, you have the cord, which you, you need in a bit. Oh, there's usually a first aid spray on here. Not not on this one. Oh, this is terrifying. Handled really smoothly. Got out swiftly there. Alrighty. Sorry, I keep taking sips of my G Fuel like, all the time. It's just so nice, honestly. <clears throat> it's really nice. It's mainly like a US based um, kind of energy drink. But it's one of them where it's like. Um... Where am I even going? Stairs again. Yeah, you, you add like water Twix. It's like no sugar, but it does obviously contain artificial sweeteners and stuff. And I'm, I'm by no means sponsored by G Fuel. I'm, like, I'm a tiny tuber. <laughs> the tiny tuber. Never know, one day. That isn't the goal. But no, it's really nice. It keeps me off the monsters, which is good. And it's very hydrating as well. James, what's my favourite zombie movie? I'm absolutely the same as you. Genuinely, Shaun of the Dead is my favourite movie of all time. I absolutely love it. It's, it's typical British humour, in it? Like, if a zombie apocalypse happened. It's so, so cleverly written. I absolutely adore that film. Like, from when I first saw it. Um, I think we'll, we'll just stash this for now. Um, we can't do anything about it until we find the other half. And I can't recall where it is, roughly. So, yeah, we can blow that helicopter wreckage. Um, but, yeah, other zombie movies. There's quite a few. Uh, I actually love Danny Dyer, the actor. He's, I, I think he's ace. I love pretty much any movie with Danny Dyer in. I'll watch it and I love it. Um, there is an awesome zombie movie called Doghouse. And it's a, it's a comedy one. Uh, it's a comedy horror. Um, where him and his mates go on like a lad's holiday to this town. I think they've like never been. And it's a, an unusual place and all that lot. And uh, yeah, all the uh, zombies are women. Um, <laughs> it's full of women. They've all turned into zombies, basically. Um, but yeah, oh, there's loads of zombie movies. I'll talk about it very soon. Just watch this uh, creepy cutscene. Oh, Absolute I'm creep. terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the <clears throat> others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. That's so creepy. I don't think we get anything else out of him. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Where's your neck? <laughs> or decapitated her completely. And to think taxidermy. <laughs> he loves his taxidermy. Absolute creep, man. Um, but yeah, on, on the subject of zombie movies, oh, there's so many good ones, man. I don't know if you've seen, it's a Korean subtitle, but it's called Train to Busan. 
absolutely watch that. Incredible. Zombies on a train. But it's amazing. You've got red on you. I've got RPD on me tonight. <laughs> Wait. Let me go. Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. It's not how she just colours the red into her titties. <laughs> what an earth. Leon, come in. I found the girl. And I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. There, there, Sherry. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant. Near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. Why would she just go and run off on her own with that thing on the loose? Come on, Sherry. Lawrence Sewell, you are doing second row with Leon on the PS5. Sweet. Nice one, man. I do love the remake. They, they did an awesome job with the remake. June the 8th. As I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. The, the last time was when I bumped into that statue, as mentioned in that previous uh, document. I mean, this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment that he was going to hurt me. June the 15th. I finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. Secretary's Diary B. All right, babysitting duties. We've got to go find Sherry. <clears throat> Don't say the, the Z word. What? The Z word. Don't say it. Why not? Because it's ridiculous. Are there any out there, though? I can pretty much recall, like, so much of the dialogue. <laughs> That's what I mean by the writing and everything. That's how special it is. It's amazing. Hell yeah. Right then, so we can offload the serpent stone and the eagle stone that we have so far. So we just have to find the, the other half of uh, the blue stone. I think that's the jaguar stone, if I remember correctly. Why would we want to read Chief's diary when we've heard the most grimmest things about this guy? Why would we want to read his diary? But we will anyway. Story time. September 23rd. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. I begin to think that I may even be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true. There's a few exclamation marks there, so he's pissed. September 24th. I was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in place, in police actions, no one will have the chance to escape City Alive. I've seen to it personally that all the escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. September 26th. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open staring up at me. It was beautiful. He's so messed up. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. Man, he's so disturbed. Why are we reading this? I'm sorry I'm putting this through this, guys. Hell yeah, the heart key. There we go. We're already on to that part already.
Uh, where are we going for that? We're going. Next one. <laughs> the shortcut over the fence scene in that movie always cracked me up. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's up, David? Never taken a shortcut before? <laughs> so good. We'll take a green for now. Um, while we're here, anyway, just just cause we'll, we'll just give it a save. It's only because I I, I just don't want to lose anything if anything goes wrong. So, what's that Max about? That's, that's great. No, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> they're already there. As I found them. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. He goes to jump over the fence, then it just falls over, and then there's like the tiniest trampoline. I'm always, honestly, I'm so gutted when uh, his mum gets bitten. And that's because it, because of her being bloody damn curious. You know, I'll take the acid ones. Because uh, I think there, there should be dogs um, near, near the, uh, like I said, like, all the parking lot area where we're going to head to. Um, I don't really trust the bow gun with the crossbow with them. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm sure Jill and Derek live round here. I hate when she gets bit. I hate it. I just wish like all of them got out alive. I really do. <laughs> yeah, I, I, the best scene for me. I absolutely love the uh, Queen. Don't stop me now. Oh, I've gone through the wrong room, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Wrong one. My bad, guys. My bad. After all these years, Holster. Oh nice, thanks for that James. Check out a different little zombie film called The Girl With All The Gifts if you haven't seen it. I liked it. I've not um, heard of that man. Thank you. I'll check that out. I'm, I'm always looking for like movie recommendations because I've seen like all the, you know, pretty much most of the uh, the popular horror and zombie movies and stuff. So I'm always looking for like new horrors to watch because uh, me and mum watch them as well. And then um, she's really awkward because she's like, she won't watch a film more than once. Um, so... Whenever we're going to watch a movie, I, I, I'm i under pressure. Like, I have to find... Do we get the bullets from that? Yeah, we must have done earlier. I have to find a movie that we've not watched before. Every time. Because she can't watch a movie more than once. Oh, damn it. We need to... Uh... I'm trying to think. When to... Just bear with me. Bear with me. Because I, I don't want to progress and then the zombies burst through. Because they, they do when you're in that the next part that we're heading to. And then it, it just stitches you up. Just bear with bear with me. I knew I should have brought that. Um, yeah, because the cord that we got from that um, room where the liquor bursts into. Um, yeah, we can put that in, in this that corridor that we're progressing to. And then it will stop a load of zombies getting in our way. Um yeah, just can't be doing with them. I always like to secure the area, like, for when we head back. For sure. Yeah, we'll take that. You only get uh, one cord as well. And obviously there's the... Uh, where we first encountered the liquor, that corridor. You could put the cord in there if you wanted to. Because uh, the zombies burst through there as well. But we have no reason to go down that corridor again. So, um, yeah, obviously I always leave that corridor and just go to this one because obviously we're making our way um, to and from uh, places down here. Alrighty. Yeah, it's so worth doing because this corridor gets so damn congested. <laughs> so we've secured it for when we come back now. Yo, oh, honestly, I've been looking forward to my G Fuel all day. <laughs> it's just so nice and smooth to drink. Yeah, honestly, I was driving to work this morning. I was like, can't wait to be having some gaming and my G Fuel. I should have ran the other way around it, really. What we're going to do, we're going to go through here to kind of um, reset the, 
the pattern of the dogs. A couple of people tuned in. Flame Shadow says, hey, what's up, man? Thanks for tuning in. And Raz Tendo, sup, mate? Now then, Raz, it's been a while. It has been a minute, my mate. I hope you're well. I hope you're well, Raz. Try to get the right angle. There we go. I hope you're well, and I hope, uh, you know, your game collection's going good. And let me know um, if you're sticking around. Let me know if you what, what you've been picking up. Because I've not had a chance to uh, tune into any of your videos, all the guys for that matter, uh, recently. It's been a while, man. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. Awesome that you're stopping by. Yeah, Flame Shadows, yeah, thank you. Um, this is basically my new uh, gaming setup. Um, this is what literally what I wanted to do like five years ago when I joined the tubes. Um, I don't usually come down here. Because I... I don't think there's much down here. I don't usually, but I'm, I'm just exploring it just cause. Absolutely can't remember. But, um, yeah, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything. Like, this is a save room. I don't think there's, like, any pickups in here. Um, oh, catch you later, James. Thanks so much for tuning in, man, honestly. Thank you so much. And uh, it's, it's been really cool to have a conversation with you and stuff, like, chatting away while... Uh, while streaming so yeah thanks so much james take care mate and hopefully see you in the future on another stream um but yeah flame shadows uh it's, it's what i wanted to do like for years literally i've just not had the means to do it sherry i've been looking everywhere for you i was so worried we've got to go now honey okay if we stay here that monster will find us let's go no i won't yeah, don't. What's the matter? Piss off, Sherry. <laughs> don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. <laughs> what, what's Sherry gonna do? What are you gonna Wait, do Sherry, about that? Don't go alone. Sherry, Sherry! Oh, no. Now we go into that little freaking hobbit body. <laughs> I don't know why, why I'm even saying that because uh, I'm about probably as tall as Sherry in real life. Um, but anyway. Uh, yeah, it's just so nice. That's, that's a family photo of Sherry and uh, a mum and dad scientist, uh, William and Annette Birkin. Um, yeah, she, she's just carrying a photo because she was at home and then her mum said, come to the station, it's safe. You can't stay at home. So I think she, she grabbed a photo to be all sweet and sentimental. So we have no means uh, to get these uh, uh, dogs. You know what? I've never triggered the death scene, but imagine the death scene of Sherry being mauled by the dogs. I just think it'd be funny if she pisses me off. <laughs> Anyone else in here? Anyone get annoyed with Sherry? Anyone? Um, yeah, it's so good to be able to stream, guys, honestly. It's like, I've been at work all day today. I've done a 12-hour shift. I was uh, We was an hour late off, which is why I had to push the stream back half an hour. But it's like... Usually after a shift I'm tired, but I knew I was going to be jumping on the G Fuel, you know, getting all fresh after work and stuff. And I've, I've been so hyped to stream, honestly. Um, it's, it's been so good. Uh, and I've really been looking forward to it. And I'm, I'm on, I've gone from day shifts, what I've just done this weekend. I'm going on to night shifts from tomorrow. So I actually need to stay awake anyway in preparation. It helps uh, for my uh, night shifts coming up from tomorrow night. So uh, yeah. So it's all good. It's all good in the hood streaming late. Um, it, it, it's just so good being able to stream, like, you know, even with a few of you guys, like, tuned in, you know, being able to have conversation and stuff as well. Um, I mean, I'm cool, like, you know, recording things offline. I'm still recording things offline and uploading to the channel. I've got another one lined up, um, uh, an indie horror game um, demo that I've recorded. Um, but yeah, it's, it's awesome. Streaming, finally. Dana, who's more annoying, Sherry or Ashley from RE4? You, you've really faced me with a tough question, man. I would say... Um, <clears throat> I would probably say may, maybe Ashley, because she, she does really annoy me. So this is basically just to show you. Guys, this is the club key, which we need uh, to yeah, complete our little set for the RPD. Um, explore the, uh, the last rooms. Um, but yeah, I think, obviously, because, because of how, like... Um, 
like how saturated some areas are with um, enemies um, on RE4. Uh, looking after Ashley is really annoying because sometimes like you can tell her to hide, but I've seen it where they've they've gone into the the boxes that she's hiding in, you know, the waste bins or whatever, and uh, she climbs in, and you know they're, they're going off with her, and I've seen I've seen it like you know where they're carrying her on the back and stuff, and then. I'm having to, at some point, um, some areas in the game, I'm like having to snipe her, like try and get the perfect snipe shot. I mean, it's awesome when you pull it off, when you get a headshot on them and then they drop Ashley. But then, it, you know what I mean? It's really annoying. Whereas with Sherry, um, yeah, she is annoying, but I, I think because of how many... Fucking hell, these dogs are mental! Sherry's little legs, man. Um, yeah, I just think because of how... How many enemies there are and stuff in RE4? Yeah. It's too much of a. It's very laboured looking Sherry, after Ashley. Are you okay? Whereas you I can find your dad? cope with this a bit better. Yes, I'm okay, but I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you here. Here's another. Thanks, sweetie. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> now why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. <clears throat> Claire, I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore. But don't yeah. worry, I'll find another way. You thought that through well, didn't you, Sherry? I can take care of myself. Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. You know what I like saying? I say it to my mum a lot when I uh, pick up the dough items then. Jeez. Um... What, if I like, I want a drink or something, it's, it's if I want a drink. If any of you guys have seen Goodfellas, you know Spider, when they're all playing cards and everything, and like, give me a drink, Spider. And uh, oh, it's, it's so sad, though. Honestly, I think that's my saddest death in... Um, yeah, that, that's my saddest death in... Um, what was it? Yeah. In uh, Goodfellas, when they shoot Spider. I'm like, it's, it's so needless. It's, it, but it's Tommy, though, because he won't be told. Does he, he says, why don't you go fuck yourself, Tommy? Um, and he just, he absolutely just won't have that. He won't have anyone passing a, a comment like that to him. But no, if I want a drink, because, um, what do you call him? Henry in Goodfellas, he says it when, when he, fucking hell. Forgot about that. We ain't put up with that. We need to go in the autopsy room as well. Damn it. Um, yeah, he just brings me a drink. He goes, thank you, spider. I would say that to my mum, she buys me a drink. Um, buys me a drink. Brings me a drink. I'm always like, thank you, spider. <laughs> this is this is uh, adrenaline pump in this room. Ready? You're ready for this. Let's run. We could not have got there any faster. We was doomed. We was doomed for failure there. But anyway, it's alright. So the second green hair we're having to take on this. So... Flame Shadows. Thought about streaming on Twitch also. I've thought about it, but I'm not sure. Um, I just don't know if it'd be beneficial to me or not. I'm not sure. Um, it's like YouTube is it's quite a, a home to me because I've already got my um, I've already got my subscribers on here. Um, you know what I mean? It, it's just difficult. I don't know if I'm just being a bit kind of resistant to change. I'm not sure, but it's something I may consider in the future anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, I never usually remember um, the exact thing. It's usually, I don't know if it's like up, down, up, up, down or something. Um, it's one of these puzzles, one of a few resi puzzles that I never fully remember. I just wing it, just guess it on the actual uh, attempt. And I usually get it right. Told you. Something like that. <laughs> Raz, you haven't made a pickup video in five, six months. Mate, I, I know how it feels. Um, I'm feeling a little bit, let's not say bitter, but I'm a, I'm a bit, to be fair, I became a homeowner six months ago, Raz. I don't know if you if you know or some of you guys know. But anyway, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I'm in my new house and stuff. So obviously I have a mortgage, so I'm screwed now. Um, I can't just spend hundreds when I want uh, on video games. We're coming back here anyway, so we can always pick some more stuff up anyway. Because I'm, I'm aware we're, we're quite limited on inventory spaces right now. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's about time for you, Raz, is it? Uh, making your videos. So, yeah, life got in the way. I, I absolutely uh, 
understand you there, mate, completely. I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. We get the choice of, obviously, the side pack or the machine gun. Um, what we'll do, we'll take the side pack, um, and then I usually leave the machine gun for Leon. So we'll leave that, and then, obviously, when we come back and do our Leon scenario B, we'll get the machine gun. So we'll equip the side pack now. We won't be greedy and have them both. We'll save it for Leon. So we actually, we genuinely need it, because the B scenario is a bit more difficult. But, yeah, um, yeah, with me, Raz, it's just a bit... As I was saying, I'm not bitter, but I'm just um, disheartened, I think, is the word. It's just the way retro game prices have gone up. It's like uh, like a game such as I'd really love uh, for my RE collection. Uh, I don't know if we can do anything here. Because we'll have to go back to the RPD area. So there's no part of it if we're going to... I don't think go to the parking lot. Usually, obviously, with Leon, it, it triggers the Ada cut scene. But it's not going to do anything in this, I don't think. Anyway. Um... Yeah, it's just, like like you say, Resident Evil Gaiden for the Game Boy Colour, for example. I can't, um, how how on earth can I afford that if I wanted that complete in box? I'd have to get cart only, which I'll probably end up doing at some point so I can play it. But And yeah, it's just like, there's, there's lots of different horrors that I'd like. Are you kidding me? There's nothing in these four. Uh, it's all about the next part, the next room here. Um, yeah, it's just... It's difficult, especially with, like, horror games. Even the prices of them have gone up. That's just free up in inventory space. I'll just read this out, then I'll carry on anyway. Night Watchman's Diary. August 11th. I finally had the chance to see Blue Skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the Chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The Chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard outback. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way that he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? September 9th. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagine that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Yeah, you caught, you caught the uh, the G-virus from him. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing else in here. Yeah, it's just back to explore with the club key. But yeah, it's just, uh, there's... With my game collection, I'm kind of prioritising picking up horror games and even they have gone up in prices. It's just like, how do I do this? And it's like, you know, I have made some pickups over, um, you know, like the last few months and stuff. Um, so I do have things to show and I'm going to... Um, just thinking, where on earth do we go? Where do we go now? Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to rub on the other way. I just can't be bothered wasting bullets, really, when we're only... We're just having a short stay through here. Um, so, yeah, I, I will be making a pickups video at some point soon. Uh, I've got a nice uh, variety of video games that I've picked up. But, yeah, uh, for me, it's financially um, what's stopping me. Uh, because I just think the prices, they really have soared. Um, so, yeah, Flame Shadows. Uh, I, I work uh, in the ambulance service, basically. That's the job I do. Uh, Dane, sir, I'm all sorted with the setup now indeed, my mate. Cheers, um, <laughs> when, I, when I came to you for uh, any advice, ideas, what do I do, all that lot. Oh, bollocks, we need the... Uh... Yeah. We need the lighter. My bad, my bad, guys. As I said, Claire's scenario is, is a bit fresh to me. And I forget that I need it. Yeah, I'll just go to the nearest save point really quick. Well, the yeah, save room with a box, anyway. Alrighty. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing, Dana. I really am. Um, so, as I said, I've said it in the stream. I wanted to do this when I first joined YouTube. I just didn't have the means to do it. I had a semi-decent PC, but all I could really do was use um, Elgato software, Game Capture, um, to get recording to my video. Um, the internet wasn't that good back at home. Um, I've got slightly better internet here um, in my new house. Uh, well, I say new house. I've been here like six months now. Uh, but yeah, my, my internet's better anyway. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, leave them in there for now. Uh, we need the lighter. We'll keep this on us because I'm sure we'll come across the other uh, half of the stone soon. Um, so yeah, streaming was not an option, um, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, it was, it was just recordings I could do and obviously my pickups. But um, yeah, I've, I've just absolutely been uh, so motivated to do, uh, yeah, actually recordings of decent quality and live streams. Um, and it, yeah, it's just so good being able to like stream um, games and actually, you know, have people tuning in and stuff, having you guys on here. So yeah, thanks guys. Um, Flame Shadows, Raz and, um, and Dana for... Uh, tuning in recently on the stream massively appreciate it it's cool to chat to you guys and check in with you see how you're doing um <clears throat> oh bless you mate you had covid raz sorry to wear that man i hope you're doing well now um got a new one now but definitely need to watch my spendings yeah the struggle is real man uh happy i don't collect for as many systems as you do these days uh, which ones are you focused on mainly raz because i can't remember I can't remember which ones you were, uh, you like specialise in, man. Uh, I think it's the Queen, King and Jack. So it should be 12, 13 and 11. I think that's the order. Because it, it says it on the picture over there. I can usually remember it. There we go. Beautiful. Let's make another G fuel soon. <clears throat> I'll pick that up just cause. Um, okay, so cog wheel. Yeah, what we'll do, just because I want to show you guys, um, hang on, I'm, I'm trying to like visualize in my head where I'm going. Uh, yeah, just cause I want to show you guys, like, I'll, you know, try pick up what I can. I'll show you all the, the films that we can develop in the game. So it only involves like a tiny, tiny little detour thing. Um, so what we'll do, because we're going to, yeah, we'll be going to the save room. Cool, cool. We'll do that. Yeah, I, I know it's, it's mental, Raz, if you collect for all systems. Like, you should see me when I first started. Um, I was actually at uni at the time from a uh, paramedic course and uh, I was I was getting maintenance loans coming, you know, like student loans and uh, let's say not all of it went on living. I discovered uh, video game collecting and lots of it went on that. <laughs> I mean to be fair, um, I've sold some things, um, you know, I originally had in the collection and made decent profit on it because obviously over time the prices have gone up. Um, I did have a massive clear out. Um, just before um, I moved into my house, as I was saving for my mortgage, for my deposit. Um, so yeah, I have cleared like quite a few things and I have actually profited on lots of things that I splashed out on basically. Um, right, we'll shove uh, these back in. We don't need this for a while. We'll put one of the green herbs back. Uh, I think that's all good. We'll see what film this is, I can't remember. Oh, it's that one. Say cheese. Pictured in front of the Arukas Taylor, regressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis, that's the outer layer of skin, in addition to feelings of nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Picture by Al Lambert. <clears throat> but yeah, as far as uh, systems that I'm uh, focused on, I would one day love a full PAL uh, Sega Saturn set because uh, it is a console that's close to my heart. It's my, it was my first ever console um, that I owned. And 
Yeah, I, I literally had about three games for it back in the day. I had uh, Virtua Fighter 2, uh, Sega Ride Championship, and Alien Trilogy. And, oh, maybe, maybe say four games. I had uh, Sega Worldwide Soccer 97. It was either 97 or 98. Or it could have even been both. Anyway, let's just say I had a handful of games for it. I missed out on loads of classics, uh, which I've now picked up. Things like, um, I've got some high-end ones from CEX. Um, such as, I, I saved CEX credit, um, you know, from, like, car boot trade-ins, whatever. I've got the Street Fighter collection. This is what I mean when I used the cord earlier. So, obviously, the cord you get, you get one cord. There's two places you can put the cords. We put it in that corridor where we're going to be going back and forth. And, obviously, they've broken the corridor, which we no longer need to go down. So, that was my logic, obviously. Um... So if we'd have left the cord, left it too late, obviously they would have uh, they would have got through in that corridor, would have been buggered fighting back through them as we head back to the parking lot area. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, things like uh, Street Fighter uh, collection, uh, Mr. Bones, that that's incredible. Panzer Dragoon Saga, which I'm so glad I bought back then. I can't remember roughly how much I paid for it. I'm sure, if I remember right, it was around the 300 quid mark, I think. Um, and now it goes for, like, way more than that. <laughs> it's, it's actually ridiculous. It's got it's really nice condition, all the slip cover and everything, like, sleeve, cardboard sleeve and stuff. Oh, hell yeah! There we go. Over half of the, uh, I think it's the Jaguar stone. If I remember correct, yeah. There we go. Are you kidding me? We can usually j drop down there. Oh, how boring. Can you actually jump down there? I suppose Claire's booty is too fragile to handle the drop. Claire can't do any slut dropping. That's Leon's thing. You can drop down as Leon, not as Claire for some reason. <clears throat> yeah, there's there's so many games I want, man. Um, that I. <laughs> I simply could not afford it's ridiculous um, so we are heading um, back out to yeah this way back to where the creepy mayor was uh, creepy mayor um, creepy Brian Irons with the mayor's daughter that's what I'm on about oh man why must you spawn Woo. you know when they make that noise they're going to they're going for, to slice your head off. Just don't be in the, the line of fire for that. Anyway, don't think there's anything that uh, we need to do here particularly. I think we're good. I don't think there's anything else we need. So we'll just go put that last stone in there. Been streaming for an hour and 40 so far. Um, I guess I was... I was thinking it would probably take me just over three hours to complete the game, so I think maybe I'm around like halfway through. Or maybe just over. Dano, yes, I do have a Nintendo Switch. Where? Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad unfortunately. you're safe, Claire. I was saying, unfortunately, Sherry's okay. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I love my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> However, I don't play it as much as my consoles. Um, it's a really awesome console for on the go. Uh, I haven't docked it in ages, you know, I like played it on my, my TV. It's been a while, but I need to jump back on uh, Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu. I still need to complete that. And then I've got Let's Go Eevee to go through as well. Uh, but I, I find it really fun using it. Um, the actual little Pokeball and stuff. Um, yeah, to use, use that to, to catch Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got all the, the general Mario games and stuff. I've, I've really been wanting Metroid Dread for it as well, so that's probably been my next Switch purchase. A game purchase for it. Mail to the Chief. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Reckon City Police Theft. We have lost the Mansion Lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining stars members Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers and Vickers. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. You crafty sods. 
continue to monitor their progress and make certain that their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin. It's Mr. Brian Irons. Again, I've deposited the amount of US 10 grand, $10,000 to the account for your services at this term as per our agreement. The development of the G virus scheduled to replace the T virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the executive board for Umbrella Inc. Um, I think it's like incorporation, but I always say Inc because I'm like just scanning through. You know what I mean anyway. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the Remain Stars members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. Again, we have a problem. They're absolute pen pals, these, aren't they? Um, I've received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through Annette. With these precautions, any possible threats should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even Umbrella. <clears throat> Claire! Oh, man! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Piss off, Sherry. I hate being on babysitting duties. I think I'd rather be playing as Leon just shouting, Ada, wait! Like, every two seconds. I really miss Leon's voice, man. Um, I, I miss playing as Leon and hearing his voice throughout the playthrough. I, I have such attachment to Leon. He's my favourite Resi character and video game character of all time. I was just, just mega attached to him um, as a character growing up. Deep throat in a, a G-Virus tentacle. <clears throat> oh, that's awesome, Raz. Mostly do switch to you. The cube collection is pretty on par. Yeah, MTSC collection. Yeah, um, I love collecting for the GameCube. <laughs> so you I've only many got far. the exclusive for it, though. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio -wing. Superior to the T virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen this little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my place apart is yet another product of the G virus. Ultimate bio weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Oh, my chest can't take the pain. That's the end of Brian Irons. I'm sure it said something like, uh, if you inspect, I'm sure it said like a miserable death or something. Hmm, I'm sure we got a bit of dialogue. <clears throat> but yeah, what I was saying, Raz, I um, so messed up all this, man. Um, yeah, I uh, I usually get for, for the GameCube. I've got like mainly like exclusive games uh, that were out for it, and obviously I've I've got like some. Um, other titles that and uh i've got like the resident evil titles a lot of people regard um the re1 remake on the gamecube as uh 
one of the uh have I gone the right way? Just think have I gone the right way two seconds. <laughs> Cause there is another door in this room, I think. Um But yeah, even this is way, isn't it? Yeah. Um but yeah, even like some of the common games for GameCube, you know, that would normally be like 50p or a quid on the PS2. They're like four, five, six quid. It's like, um, I kind of feel a bit dodgy, guys. I'm sure we've, I think we've got a little boss here. Ah, I don't feel good about it. I feel like I need more. Um, just bear with me because I'm, I'm being a bit overcautious here because we've not saved in a little while either. So I just feel like I want to um, grab some help and uh, some more uh, grenade rounds. I mean, probably their, their massive rounds should be fine for us, but I don't want to go and prepare because this is a little uh, a little boss bit here, I think. Uh, Cask Strength Gamer, when's the next pickup video? Uh, I would say realistically, probably within the next maybe couple of weeks or few weeks. Um, I will dig out um, some games that I've recently picked up and uh, yeah definitely uh, I, I definitely plan on making another video because um, I have made some pickups within say, like the last six months or something um, it's just been hectic uh, with regards to obviously making them because uh, you know I've, I've moved house and stuff and uh, yeah the gaming room is still in progress actually I, I need more shelves so not all my collection is in there there's quite a bit of stuff but a lot of it's still um, stored at the moment yeah, we'll take these. Um, and we'll take. I'm, I'm just like literally gonna overstock, and then we'll, we'll just do that because I don't want to look at it on the screen. Screen, yeah, screen and stream basically. <laughs> I don't look at it. So we'll just save it before we uh, go head off. I'm just, I'm just playing it cautious. I, I literally, I like don't really need to, but I'm just doing it just cause. I ain't going for any like perfect run or anything like that. It's just nice, nice chill uh, playthrough. Uh, but yeah, I will make another pickup video. I'm excited to make another pickup video. Uh, yeah, because it's just been too long. And the problem is, I can't make them as often as I used to because, I mean, at the minute, seasonally, uh, the car boot hasn't been on because uh, mine finished back in like October time. And then it usually stays closed until like March time. So. Pickups have been very, very slow, extremely slow. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, it's really difficult to get deals. You've got to be so quick, like lightning quick. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'll, I mean, I'll tell you on the screen, like, um, one of my, it's one of my best pickups ever, because I've always wanted one. Off uh, Facebook Marketplace, I actually managed to get a 60 gigabyte uh, PS3, so it plays PS1, PS2 games. Absolutely incredible. So I was absolutely buzzing with that. I got that and a load of uh, PS2 and 3 games for 50 quid. So absolutely perfect. Um, it did come with like a really naff controller. Um, I think it was a, I think it was an official PS3 controller, but it was like missing thumbsticks and things like that. So I went on eBay and um, from shop I bought a really nice like candy pink controller. Uh, just to, it was all snazzy and stuff. So I thought, yeah, I'll get that. Um, so I can play. Of course, the first game I played on it was Resi, Resi 2 on PS1, because I could. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how good Acid's gonna be. We'll, we'll give it a go. I'll tell you what's really annoying. Them little things, man. They're, they're more annoying than the big thing. Oh. Be serious. Oh, shit. You see that, guys? I sprayed. Was that five or six shots at it? And that, that's all it was. I went back. I even went back and saved it. Got more rounds. Look, I told you, they're more annoying than the actual thing. See, that's what put me on caution. It's not the boss. It was them. It's so annoying. The little crawly things. But we'll get away with this, look. Because we've clicked on this while it's attached to her. So when we come at the other end of the ladder, it's going to be gone. <laughs> Um, right. There we go. So we need. Beautiful. 
Um, yeah, Dano, Iron's death is so awesome. He's, he is incredibly satisfying, I've got to say. He's such a super dick. Oh, I have to go back for sure. Are you kidding me? We actually build up the momentum. Adrenaline pumping after beating that boss. We've got to go back to babysit. Will we be getting a game room tour? Absolutely, Dano. Um, as I said, I need to order some more shelving from Ikea because I've, I've run out. Um, <laughs> you would have laughed at my... Um, I mean, you, you'd see it on my old pickups videos um, in my old room. How the ceiling didn't fall through in my room, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a smaller room that... I mean, probably... I don't know if it's about the same size or a smaller room than the gaming room. I'm pointing because it's like it's behind me. Um, this room is my official YouTube room and it, it's the smallest room in the house. I've got a three bedroom house. Uh, gaming room's the biggest one. My bedroom is just ever so slightly smaller than the gaming room. Um, and still can't really fit much in there. I mean, I've got a double bed, got some clothes rails, um, got my TV on a stand and that's about it pretty much. Um, then, yeah, came back. this is my YouTube room. The man who developed the G virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! So good hearing Paul her dad's voice. The, uh, the original voice actor for Ari 2, original Leon. He passed away, um, in 2020. Um, I'm sure it was 2020. Uh, forgive me, I, I think it is. Um, I'm just saying I think. Um, oh, I'm sure it was. Because, uh, yeah, I, I'm bad at remembering. Um, yeah, it was so devastating, genuinely. I don't think... I've, I said in the previous stream... She's curled up in a ball. Come on, you're not freaking... What is it? Sandshrew or Pokemon? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think these original voice actors realise... Or at least realised at the time how iconic they'd be in making the characters so like relatable and like making us so attached to the characters. They really did bring the characters to life, and it, it, they did an incredible job. Um, but yeah, for sure, gaming room tour. Um, I've still got some things to sort out. As in, um, <laughs> it's funny because all my my upgraded gaming setup that took priority over even sorting my own garden out. So. It's like the upside down. If any of you guys watch Stranger Things it, and you've seen the upside down on it, that's basically what my back garden looks like. Um, I'm having to keep on top of the weeds and everything. It's, um, it's not been too bad, actually, at the moment. It's in the summer when the sun's out. We all start growing again. It's crazy. either kind of save up for my garden which is what I should have done I should be preparing um, to uh, pay for my garden and uh, I was like hell no I want my YouTube set up oh we are we Sherry again yeah Sherry again um but yeah, I prioritise getting my YouTube set up. I've been dying to, man. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, as, as soon as I can, I will be getting some shelving for the game room. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I may... Oh, don't bomb on me. Oh, she ain't going to reach out. Um, I, I don't know actually whether to do maybe a gaming room under construction tour and do a bit of an... Oh, 
piss off. Actually, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. You can bite Sherry, it's fine. See if I can. Um, I may do like a progress video. Um, I could do. Um, to show you guys at least some things uh, that I've managed to set up. Nice. That is the wolf medal. Oh, that was an almighty fall for like a two stone body. Ah, oh, there we go. She's screwed. You know what? I love how. So gross. I love how Sherry and her dad William and her mum Annette, they've all got the same hairstyle. They've all got a bob, haven't they? They've all got a cheeky bob. Um, yeah, to find a working 60 gig back PS3 is ace. Honestly, um, it was really funny. Let me tell you the story. Now, this is a story how about how I got my 60 gig back PS3. Here we go, look. We can make a Spando Ballet. You are go, go. There we go. Always pick up blue heads because there's about two or three in the whole game. <laughs> you don't get spoiled with them. Then they're just worth having in case uh, the spiders or anything like that poison you. But anyway, the story. Um, it was really funny because um, I searched up. Um, well, I say searched up. I checked the guy's profile because it it was on Facebook Marketplace anyway. I'm surprised it didn't get snapped up. It was on there for like a few days, right? I, I don't get it. But anyway. Um, so it was on there. Um, I checked his profile to see if he looked legit or if he looked a bit dodgy or anything. Do you know what I mean? We're doing another Spando Ballet. Doing another gold. Um, so I like to call Stylish at the end with the gold mixed herbs. So, um, yeah, he didn't look too bad on his uh, Facebook profile, you know, dodgy-wise. I was a bit like, mm, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll save them. We need to start saving stuff. Though. And uh, yeah, it was funny because... Let me just read this first. Fax to the sewer manager. On the first and third Wednesdays of the month, Angelica Margaret, Chief of Maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapours. On the 28th every month, the chemical transporter, Don Weller, will use the facility... The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every other month, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella, Umbrella Inc. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. You'll be informed of all other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Secretary Chief, Umbrella Headquarters. Anyway, so I said, yeah, yeah, I'll come pick up the uh, the PS3 and the bundle of games. And yeah, it was funny because uh, he lived in this block of flats. Um, I'd not been there. He it didn't look overly dodgy, but let's just say, like, I, I'd not been there before, so I was kind of like, mm, don't know what I'm expecting. And he was like, yeah, come in and I'll show you it working. And which is ideal, because you want to see, obviously, the item work. But I was like, shit, I've got to go to a dodgy block of flats. And I'm not even kidding, guys. I I was a little bit freaked, because he was like, yeah, yeah, just ring the, the bell and I'll, I'll let you in, sort of thing. You know, at the intercom. And I genuinely put 999 on my phone and locked it. And so if I needed to ring anything, all I had to do was unlock it, swipe, and then it picks me up straight away. I was, I was like, very overcautious. But no, he was an absolutely sound guy, genuinely. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it was him and uh, his dog. I can't remember what he had. It was, like, some uh, English Bull Terrier, I think it is. English Pit Bull or English... It's, like, English Bull Terrier or something like that. Oh, I want a better angle. I can't be doing this. Um, but yeah, it, it was like a rescue dog. It was really nice. And uh, so yeah, him and his dog were really friendly, actually. And there's me, uh, pre-empting, putting in 999 on my phone. Because um, you've got to be careful nowadays. You should see some of the places I've been for my marketplace pickup. I put my life on the line for this, guys. <laughs> no, it's just funny. It's funny. Um, 
don't think there's anything else, is there? Usually, I think on Leon Snow, the light's out and you have to actually light uh, some lamps with the lighter. But I think that is... Oh, did we come through there? No, we didn't. Um, yeah, it is funny. Oh, nothing here. It's obviously where uh, we spawned the sherry. Uh, oh, Raz, you got yourself 60 gig. Paid more than me. Mm. You know, they're good to have, man. Even if... I'd say, guys, even if you have to pay up, as long as it's working decently, um, they're awesome to have in your collection. They, they really are. So, I would have paid up to 100, probably, for one. I think they're going, as far as I know, I'm sure they're going for like around the 50 quid mark on eBay. Um, 50 quid. 150 quid mark, I think. I'm sure anywhere between 150 and 200. That's when I last checked anyway. It's hard to keep up with the prices. They're, they're absolutely all over the place at the moment. Um, I always get lost in these rooms. So I think we came in that door that we can see. Yeah, now obviously we go down here. Um... I remember on the yellow light of death thing on my PS3 day one from the box. Oh, day on day one was that? I'll do it if there's a cutscene. Uh, nothing there. Um, yeah, you know what, man? Um, <laughs> it's really funny because I was quite naive, really. When I bought my PS3, I was absolutely buzzing to get it. I took two-year warranty out on it, right? And just... Oh, I realised we need to go back to the valve handle. I'm gonna need that uh, for the next part. Um, sometimes I remember at this interval, sometimes I don't. Uh, but yeah, I've just gone past the saving when I remembered. Um, but yeah, so just after its two year warranty, it got the yellow light, so it couldn't do anything. So basically, um, yeah, I, I got it repaired uh, by a shop, a uh, trusted shop, I don't know if it's about 40 quid or something. And back then it was uh, a 40 gigabyte uh, PS3. Um, and that's crazy talking that now, isn't it? Like, because the games we download nowadays are like, like some of them are way more than forty gig. It's, it's crazy. Forty gig on actual consoles, mad. Um, so yeah, I got, basically got it repaired, and then that's when I traded it in, traded all my PS3 stuff in, and went to 360. Um, at the time when it was between 360 PS3. Um, my, my best mates at the time, they were all on 360. Uh, I, I really wanted to join them so badly, but the thing that um, put me off was the um, Red red Rings of Death. I just, um, it was happening to all of my mates and stuff, and they had to mess about doing, is it like a towel trick, uh, you know, all the soldering thing, things like that. And I was like, and at the time I was just, I didn't pay like lots of money, um, you know, to have a console fail on me, so I left it. I'm just going to double check if there's... No. I just wanted to see if there's any bullets on it. Um, so yeah, that's why I went to PS3 in the first place. But um, I was so happy when I switched to 360 because there was loads of games that I'd missed out on, like 360 exclusives and stuff. So um, yeah, absolutely love my 360. Really do. I, I love loads of my titles still to this day. I really do. Um, Dano, what's my all-time favourite console? Um, as I say, it's sentimentally, it would be the Sega Saturn because it, it first got me into gaming, but I probably would say uh, the PS1 because of this game and the Resident Evil series in general. And also, obviously, you've got the Crash Bandicoot Sparrow series, things like that. And uh, hidden gems such as, um, like, Tombi and stuff like that. All the PS1 demo dish you used to get in your McDonald's um, when you used to get like, in your Happy Meals, didn't you, in like, the little sleeves and stuff. Absolutely incredible. Um, so I would probably say PS1. But yeah, Sega Saturn really does hold a place in my heart, genuinely. And the Mega Drive is also up there, because I, I like some fantastic Sega games. On that Who note. are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G-Virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. <laughs> Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? We what? just rocked up on a Sherry's Harley Davidson. Alone in the we didn't plan to steal the G-Virus. You have to help me Annette. find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. 
There we go, guys. Story time. Uh, bye, uh, by the way, Raz. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Always good chatting with you too, man. And take care. See you soon, man. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Doctor, you might hit the sample. That did all right. Okay, let's move out. Ridge around, Kieran. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Don't do it! I'll Alpha, talk after cut scenes, guys. The sample yet. Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. <laughs> Injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! The guns aren't stopping it! What is this thing? No! Hurry! What is this thing? Fire! Fire! You son of a... I'm not a position you want to be in. That's another thing, the rats in the sewers spread it as well. So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. Ah! It's Sherry. You go that way. Yeah, what's up, guys? People have joined uh, during the cutscene. Um, yeah, just for your information, I do um, stay quiet during the cutscene so people can, uh, yeah, uh, listen to them. By the way, it does force Japanese subtitles on this, so, so that's why, just because of the uh, the version of this PC um, game that I've got. Um, but yeah, oi, 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 it's Kieran Rummage around. I'm all good, man. How are you? Hope you're good. Um, I am back. Absolutely. Um... I'm going to use this here to prepare for the upper level. Um, but yeah, I'm back, man. Um, I've been saving up uh, my cash for an upgraded PC setup, and here it is. Um, but yeah, I've, I've wanted to do this, like, for ages, man. I'll take one of these. I don't want to, like, overload it too much, but... Um, yeah, but I've, I've finally, like, had the means to do it. Um, so, yeah, here I am streaming, because my internet's never been decent enough before I uh, got my own place. Um... And my PC wasn't either, it wasn't great. Uh, so streaming wasn't an option. I was able to um, use uh, a game capture um, to do gameplay recordings. But yeah, I've uh, kind of gone back to uh, my roots of the channel, um, which is gaming. Um, Sherry! The Croc's in there! Fuck! I totally forgot! I didn't realise we'd get the Croc on Claire's. I thought it was just uh, Leon's. Oh, hell yeah! Get the alligator on this. Let's go, guys. The 
death cut seems ace. I don't fancy getting eaten though. What we'll do, we'll just make sure he comes and gets this. Um, but yeah, I've kind of, like I say, I've kind of gone back to uh, my roots of the channel. I started out with gaming, then I went more into like car boots, uh, car boot pickups, um, branching out to all sorts of stuff. I want to get the right angle. Ready? Oh. I just wanted to wait till yeah, I got round the corner to try get the best angle we could on that. Look at that, that's absolutely epic. Um, but yeah, it's just obviously now I have the means, um, I want to like stream all my favourite games. It's mainly going to be like Resident Evil and, and horror games, basically. And other games as well. Um, I was quite tempted with uh, Rainbow Six Extraction uh, that's just come out as well. I will be doing um, modern and retro games. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've got a, a few... Uh, few comments a cask threads gamer console wise prefer xbox over playstation i love my vita and vr yeah um in all honesty i'm a bit more of an xbox gamer um however i do have the series x on the ps5 don't have a vita yet wake up sherry ah oh, it's not a good sign my stomach it hurts don't worry you'll be fine Come on, let's go. Do we have to sort out everything for you, Cherry? It's a babysitting service. But um, I did actually pick up a, a PS Vita um, from the car boot for two quid, right? And they just said it doesn't work, don't power on or something. Um, but I wouldn't mind um, giving it a go, like just as in, you know, buying a charger and um, seeing if it actually does power on. I don't know what, what's wrong with it or anything. Um, obviously, I'm going to need a charger to see if it will power up. Um, I don't know if it's a screen issue or, like I say, start up. You, you crouch here, Sherry. We'll ditch you for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, uh, the PSP is actually sat there at the moment. Uh, but the games are on the, a bit on the pricey side, though, I must say. Uh, and VR-wise, um, I really want the Oculus Quest 2. It is my birthday in June, so I might save up a bit of my birthday money and kind of try to save up some money alongside it. And I really want the Quest 2 to play uh, Resident Evil 4, because I think that's incredible that they brought it out for that. Anyway, I'll just quickly read through this. Um, I've been reading through all the documents because I like to go through the game, explain it to you guys, you know, so we can piece together all the uh, things. So, Sewer Manager's Diary. June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today. We talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much of a surprise given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him anyway? July 7th. Chief Iron has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible requests. The Chief has my sympathies, though. After all he's done for the town, he doesn't deserve this. You can, you don't know the half of the, the uh, awful Chief Irons. He's absolute ultimate creep, man. July 21st, I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August 16th, Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I wasn't able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and meddle. This is what it means for the Chief to serve and protect? August 21st, Will you inform me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs? He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation has concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. But yeah, they're, they're all interesting to, uh, to read through. Corpse of sewer maintenance work. I would not like that job. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I know. Yeah, I I, I do agree. Karen, um, PS2 is up there uh, with uh, with regards to the best console. The, the library is huge. I, honestly, uh, hats off to game collectors who are going for like the full PS2 library because I know of people doing that and it's incredible. Like. Jeez, I, you'd need another house to store all that lot in, man. I've, like, there's so much filler. Like, don't get me wrong, there's so much classics, but my God, is there so much filler. Um, yeah, um, but like say, I was asked not so long ago what my favourite console was. I probably would have had to say, like, the PS1, and like I say, it's based on the reses. All, all the hidden gems for it, the staple classics like Crash Bandicoot, um, you know, Spyro, things like that. Um, 
But yeah, it's, it's absolute nostalgia for me. Oh, Sherry! Stop squatting, will you? Let's go. She's so annoying, man. Um, but yeah, the, the Sega Saturn does hold a place in my heart, though, because I think it's highly underrated. Gamer316, good stream holster. Thanks so much for tuning in, man. Um, I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I appreciate all you guys tuning in. I, I honestly didn't expect uh, many people at all. Oh, I knew she'd do it. Sherry, the zombies is going to bomb on you. I'm going to have to kill these, aren't I? Because she's just running away from them. She's such a twat. Oh, I'm going to have to kill all these. See, I like to come save my bullets, but I can't. I hear vomiting, and I hope he's doing that on Sherry. She's been implanted with the with the G embryos, now she's being bombed on. Saves you right, Sherry. You should have stayed at home watching Peppa Pig. Come on. Oh my god. We're, we're literally going to be here all night. Come on. Uh, but no. Uh, generally appreciate all you guys. I've had loads of uh, people stopping. Um, I appreciate it. Because uh, it is a Sunday night. And it is a work night for many, many, many people. Um, but yeah, it's just fit, managed to fit in with my schedule, you see. Because I've been on day shifts this weekend. And then I'm going on tonight shifts from, I would say, tomorrow night. But it's technically tonight. Because it's technically Monday now. We're almost at one in the morning. Um, so yeah, I have to stay up late anyway tonight to prepare for my night shifts. It helps me transition from day shift to night shift. Um, so I was like, yeah, um, I will uh, stream. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's why I'm here. Um, but yeah, I know it's not convenient for lots of people. Um, obviously, m many people it is uh, a work night. Uh oh, I don't know if this is getting to uh, another boss ish. Hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna have to head off in just a second, guys. I'll be back in just a few minutes uh, because let's see if there's anything here. Yeah, I need a, a, G, a G Fuel uh, pee break and I need another G Fuel because I've finished this and I really need a drink. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to pause this, guys. And, um, yeah, I might as well just leave it on, actually. I just think, yeah, I won't leave it on my status screen because it might run up the time. But what I'm going to do, just before I go, um, I'm just going to put on the live chat, just if anyone joins uh, while I'm gone, uh, be right back. Uh, in a few minutes, guys. G fuel, P break, and G fuel, refuel <laughs> in progress. <laughs> Holster. Right. Yeah, I really do want to shoot off, but I'm just going to have to, like, just for, like, just a few minutes. Um, just so I can, uh, like I say, go for a G Fuel P break and to refuel my G Fuel, because I'm out. So I'm just going to drop a comment in the, um, live chat, just so people know. And, uh, yeah, back in a few minutes, guys, alright?
Oh, I hate leaving the stray, I'm sorry. I hate leaving you hanging, guys. I hate leaving the stream when I've got that on, so. But yeah, needs must when you uh, have a weak blood and you go for a G fuel. Sweet. Right, let's carry on. So, did I go to the... I think I did go to the control panel, hell yeah. Yeah, what's up, Liam T? Um, what did I think of Ari Village? Um, I absolutely loved it, man. Um, she really freaked me out, Lady Dimitrescu. Um, but then after a while, I found her kind of, kind of hot, really, so... Um, oh, we need, we need the lighter. We'll have to come back to that. Damn it. Um, but yeah, it's awesome, man. Um, absolutely loved it. I think they nailed the horror in it. Um, Ari 7. I did enjoy it, but I, I liked Village way more. Really did. I wasn't sure about it first. It was actually better than I thought it would be. Um, loved all the puzzle stuff. I'll tell you what I love in it as well. Them, um, whoo. Oh, shit. Let's get a bit of space in here. I love the, uh, Labyrinth puzzles. You know, with the, um, like you say, the, them little, uh, barbarians you find, and then you, you put them in the Labyrinth things, and then and you tilt it round. Um, obviously, it's complete. They, they were awesome. Absolutely loved them. And, yeah, um, I am, um, planning to stream it on the channel. Uh, so that will be featured soon. Oh, hell yeah, I thought it was a spark shot. Hell yeah. God, that takes up two. Um, but yeah, did you like it? Let me know. Um, oh, you prefer it a bit more. Um, sorry, uh, Karen, uh, rummage around. I found, um, sorry, I, um, mixed up our words. It's like the middle of the night now. Uh, yeah, I've, I've just found your comment. Uh, I just missed it. Uh, going to a PC specs video. Hell no. I don't know anything about PCs, Karen. Um, I mean, I bought this and, um, I kind of had a bit of a vague idea that it was decent. Oh, he nearly bombed on Sherry then. Um, but yeah, my, my PC's decent. Um, pretty decent graphics card. Um, and bits like that. Um, it's got like 16 gig of RAM. Uh, I think graphics card's like 3060. Um, things like that, really. Woo! Shit! Go on, bomb on Sherry. Bomb on Sherry. I think there's just a hair around there. We're good. Oh, don't tell me she's curled up in a ball. See, you don't help yourself. You have the same haircut as your mum and dad as well. It's actually ridiculous that the three of them have the same haircut. You you guys have seen that in the game and in the FMV sequences now. Um, cask Skent... Cask... God, I can't even speak this time of the one. Cask Strength Gamer. Um... Love your Vita. If the, v if the Vita I've got is the original model, and it does power on, double check the buttons as the first model is prone for half the buttons to stop working. Thank you for that, man. I appreciate that bit of advice because I know nothing about the PS Vita, so thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Um, going for a full Vita collection. Honestly, good on you, man. Uh, let me know how many you've got so far. And how many do you actually need? Um, I'm uh, curious to know. Um, right, pop that back for the lighter. We'll nip back and use them. Um, right. We'll deposit these for now. We need to get cracking. Um, yeah. We'll take these for now. I, I just can't... Um, can't I'm, I'm a little bit foggy with Claire's um, scenario, you know. Um, because I'm always just playing as Leon. Um, so it's, quite, it's nice though because it's quite fresh for me. Uh, playing as Claire. It is different. Oh, thank God Sherry stayed in there. I'm so glad. Oh, yeah. Jacko says hi. Hi, man. Thanks for uh, tuning into the stream. I appreciate it. At this crazy hour. Um, oh, beers. I see the beer emoji. You got the beers flowing. I wish I had the beers flowing. I'll, I'll have to uh, crack open the Budweiser on some streams. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm always powered by G Fuel. When I'm gaming. I literally just left the- whoop oh, shit. Sorry, I went to move my hair out of my way. <laughs> I was just like, took the speaker out. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I've just literally topped up with a, a fresh G Fuel. Um, it's basically like a, an energy drink alternative. Um, 
and I've got the PewDiePie uh, flavour. It's like a cherry kind of flavour. So it's like no sugar, but it's got like artificial sweeteners and things like that in it. Um, but yeah, I love them. They're just so smooth to drink. They're not like mega fizzy and things like that. Um, so I never ever thought anything would deter me from Monster Energy, but this actually has. Um, I still like Monster, and I have one like as a treat now. Then, but I absolutely love drinking my G Fuel. It's awesome. I get, I get proper trippy down these corridors. So I can't remember which way. Uh... That's it. Right, it's done a bit of backtracking. Um. Yeah. Oh, you do, you not, don't usually like the puzzles, Liam. In uh, in what in RE in general? Uh, the, yeah, they are. Got oh shit! So that's why I left that zombie. Um. Yeah, I, I absolutely love puzzles in survival horror games. I really do. Um, not if they're a bit too vague on the clues that they give you and stuff. Game of three and six. What's my fa favorite retro game of all time? It would be this. I've always said it on my channel. It's my favorite video game of all time. Um, just bear with me. What I might do. Right. Like I said, we need to get cracking. Use them. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to pop the light back. We're going to save as well, because I think we've got a bossy coming up. Uh, we're going to keep the spark shots. We'll have some uh, shots at that, literally. <laughs> we'll use that. Don't need the weapon box key for a little bit. I want to keep that like there, because I don't want to forget about it. There we go. So we'll make a quick... Oh, hang on. We'll take a couple of first aids. Give it a quick save. I don't like to over save it, but I'm just I'm just literally being cautious because I'm on stream, that's all. Just don't want to lose anything. Cool. Right, so made a cheeky save. It's just in case we run into the boss like anytime. I think I think we do very soon. So I don't think there's anything we can do on that computer console. Let's go. Um so yeah, it, it would be uh this game man. Um Apart from that, I love games like, um, I love like, Se I know it's a bit of a random one, but I love Sega Rally Championship. I love that. Um, Alien Trilogy on the Sega side, that was an absolute um, classic. I was amazed at that as a kid. I adored that game. Oh, the keyhole. Can we go in here and get the key first? Yeah, yeah. Task Strength Gamer, the Vita guy. I have about 70 Vita games, not including imports. Oh, man, there's about tw 220 to 230 games. No, good luck with that, though, man. It's, it's awesome to have, um, you know, ambition to in your collecting. You will do it if you keep focus, man, um, on collecting them. So, yeah. I have a feeling that, um, yeah, this form of Birkin, maybe the flame rounds are good because it's giving me them. So, it, it's, uh, it's only, like, logical that they probably are. That, that's, by the way, is the only toilet in the game. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> um, yeah. He's crazy. But no one batted an eyelid at that, including me. No one even picked up on that, did they? That there's no toilets in the police station back in the day. And then they added them in the remake. And then we said, oh my god, the toilets we didn't know that we needed. <laughs> so nice to see um, yeah Jacko you love this music I love all the Resi music um, I mean in general but yeah Resi 2 has a an absolutely incredible soundtrack um, do you, did you mean that the music of like the I think they call it the Dead Factory this part um, yeah Sega Rally 2 for you Game of 316 yeah 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 Sega Rally 2 is a good one um <laughs> I've got a Sega Rally for stomach. Dreamcast as well. My stomach hurts. <sighs> Hang in there, Sherry. Her forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. Ew. Itchy tasty, Sherry. Right, I've G-fueled up. Sherry's G-virusing up. <laughs> um, so let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh. 
I don't want to have a go at Spark Shot, you know. We'll have a little bit of fun, all right? Because I, I can't remember how effective it is. I'm sure it's pretty decent. We'll have a few Spark Shots, then we'll have a few uh, Flame Rounds, I think. Honestly, I hate game bosses. I hate them. Right, let's not be greedy. I could have got shot in there. Right, that's one shot. I'm going to keep running because this is my problem when I start to take damage. It's, it's due to being greedy and having too many shots. What percentage are we at? 85, that's fine. Right, we need to get out this corner. Run, 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 run. Don't get us. Oh, he caught us with the claw. Damn it. Be able to do it so just a spark shot you know I'm, I'm just enjoying using it you know we got him not yet not yet he starts jumping about for me we got him we got him we did good i've just walked over i'm just walking over his dead body just to rub it in we did that See, again, overcautious, loaded the inventory. I don't mean we got caught by his claw, but only a minor injury. Hell yeah, 58% left still. That spark shot fucked him up. I'll remember that for future clay playthroughs. It's decent. I forgot how good that was, actually. Cask Shreds Gamer. Some of the heavy hitters like Persona 4 and Silent Hill. They are heavy hitters as well, man. Some of them Persona games... Inside Hill, them games have gone up in value. Absolutely. Two very sought after series. Well, highly demanded, anyway. Still the demand there for them. Never played a Persona game. I've not completed the uh, original Silent Hill in years, literally. Um, and uh, probably about, I'd say like a year ago, I started a play through of it. And probably about maybe two thirds, three quarters of the way through it. And uh, I've just not picked it up because I, I packed it away because obviously I was packing my new house. I've just not resumed it since. Claire? This is quite a heartfelt oh, scene. This is what I was on about it. earlier. The bond Isn't this... with Claire and Sherry. That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Thank you, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. I grew up alone, but now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. <laughs> Sherry. <clears throat> Rest here for a bit. I'll be right back as soon as I found the antidote for you. See? They form a right bond, both of them. Alrighty. We need to drop some things off because I absolutely loaded us up for that. Um, no, whether to pop that way for now, I think. Um, I'll keep the flame rounds because I think um, if we come across them, I'm like, jeez, I'm absolute uh, mutant liquors. You know, like they kind of like second form ones like the even stronger ones i think the flames are pretty good for them really and they're good for the plants as well i find jeez is it like unlimited the amount of uh round you can have in a grenade launch because I, I don't think i've ever been refused by the grenade launch you know like when you're reloading it i've never been denied it just takes however many you, you loaded into it it's mad um yeah chuck all these to one side um that's all we need for now. Got a nice little stash. Um, weapon box. We are around that area. We, we'll need it pretty soon. So we'll keep it on us. Let's see if there's anything else to say. No, she's already asleep. You just chill, Sherry, and we'll do your dirty work. Uh, that's a no-go. Be sorry, you use that. Uh, yeah, Cask Spread Gamer. Um, I, I was talking about the Vita games, like you said, like Persona and Silent Hill. Um, 
Yeah, Book of Memories. I thought there was a Vita exclusive of that. Can't which way to go first. Um, it's blue one, maybe. <laughs> Pop out fiction. How much are the games, mate? <laughs> How much is that, please? <laughs> a couple of mates um, at work, they actually call me Holly How Much. That's my nickname. How much is that, please? Because uh, uh, some colleagues at work, uh, quite a few of them have uh, discovered my uh, car boot videos. Uh, they laugh their heads off at it. Like, you really wear a GoPro around the car boot, yeah? People watch me do that. I watch other people do that. It is what it is. Funny. Really funny. There we go. Pop the fuse in now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, th thanks for that, man. <laughs> One of my uh, quotes. Fuse case. Fuse case. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Fuse case. Oh, that is fuse case. My bad. This is such a satisfying little animation. Look at it. A little robotic animation. But yeah, it'd be good to get Silent Hill Book of Memories. Um, you know, for my Silent Hill collection. Because I've got uh, most of that. I've got... Um, oh, what do you even call it? Is it something dimensions? What, which one was it? Two seconds, two seconds. Silent Hill. Dimension. Shattered Memories. Where, where did I get that from? I actually got Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Jeez, it was about... It was about... It was either around 60 or 80 quid, right, in CX, and I got it with credit. And it actually had the Manuel. It was complete with Manuel. So uh, I, I have a quite a high-end Silent Hill game. I don't know how much it goes for now, but I got it probably about... Jeez. Probably a couple of years ago now. I was so proud showing that in the pickups video. I was I was absolutely buzzing. Really was. Um I don't f two seconds. We've just switched on the power of that fuse. I can't remember if we can there's like a shutter to the right down here. Yeah, Persona 4 and uh San Ho, yeah, around the fifty quid mark. 40, 50 quid mark, yeah. It's crazy how much they're going for. So yeah, this is... We developed that film earlier and it showed like uh, some like prototype, you know, muted thing in a in a massive uh, case thing. So this is what we're doing. I'm not on file. Still, still my first president. Well, you do... You, it does usually accept it at some point. That's what you do. Um... Right, still need the card key, so it's a, a red area now. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I'm really glad you, you managed to secure uh, Silent Hill and uh, your Persona game for the Vita, because obviously they're only going to go up in value, I think, so the two absolutely, you know, well-known series, like... Um, yeah, you've got to grab them gems while you can, because video games that are only going up in value... Uh, I was on about it earlier, just how... Um, Financially, um, whoo! Shit, I knew they'd start spitting soon. Right. Hang on, hang on! Oh, damn it, I got caught by it. I think that's got both of them. Oh, you twat! I'll wait to see if we get another hit. That's one of them really. It's a rare but an annoying instance when you're on yellow caution and a single green herb does not sort it out. I hate that. Oh shit, I'm not messing about with that either. We've got plenty of flame rounds, we use them on them plants. But yeah, it's like, it is nice having a bit of a break from my collecting. It's, it's because like, obviously I've got my new house and, well I've been in the house since once obviously. Um, it's, uh, oh shit, that's what I'm talking about, about the knickers. So intimidating. Will that reach? Oh, almost. Too shy. You're too shy, shy. Alrighty. Oh shit. Right, hang on. Risk another hit. You dare get up and slash me, don't you dare. 
Yeah, wouldn't set that down. Sweet. That'll do for now, just the one break there. Uh, that's the MO disc we need for that. But yeah, I would rather take these out, man. I'm not running back and forth past all these. I can't stand them. You can't leave them. They're deadly, them liquors. Um, right. I don't know why I even went there. Don't even need to. But yeah, we're getting towards the end of the game ish. That's the card key one as well. We might as well upgrade it. Got an abundance of health. Yeah, so true, man. You'd step back from collecting every now and then to refresh so it doesn't become an addiction. Because, yeah, at, at a point it did become like quite an addiction. And then you get so sucked into it that you will pay daft prices for some games. And lots of games I have paid up on. However, I have sold some on and made profit. Uh, from some of them over time you know when i've kind of outgrown them in the collection or you know i've wanted to prioritize another game so it's like yeah i'll i like this it's proper trolling all this if you keep backing away from the door with that zombie it just keeps shutting on them i like trolling them like that i'd rather play around with them. um but yeah I've, I've kind of had a little bit of a break um i've bought the odd game like in you know in the last maybe six months or so but um yeah it's just nice to um kind of chill with the games that i do have and uh just just chill with my streaming you know and recording as well i've been doing some offline recordings of some um upcoming uh horror game demos and things like that so uh, the base facts here yeah, we don't have any of that lot yet <laughs> all this run about after sherry man Yeah, it's crazy. And now, the world's video game collecting. William. I'll never crazy hobby. You for that. Wait! I've just prepared a sample of the G virus. And this time, no one will take it from me. This is the most significant piece of research my husband has ever left in my hands. Stop it! Sherry's in serious trouble. William implanted her with his embryos. There's no telling when they'll pupate. And if that happens, then Sherry won't. What? William. W William. You're alive. Shit's getting cray cray. Ah! There's a net gone. Alrighty, card key. I think the giant moth's in there, so we'll blast it with that. Yeah, usually. Oh, is it there? It is. It's just off screen, isn't it? Sweet. Yeah, usually with Leon, um, I'll just use it. <clears throat> Clearly so we can use the PC. Yeah, usually with Leon I blast it with a flamethrower, but yeah, that's just as good. I do love using the flamethrower though. That's it. That's that, um room where we tried to swipe our fingerprints so enter username oh yeah back because it is bs uh guest i think it is if we do that sweet so we've done that so we need to go back to that room um so that's obviously in the blue doorway that's how i remember so we're finished in this area. No, we're not finished in this area. We just need to put the base facts in uh, room, don't we? W William is still alive. He's getting stronger with each skin he casts off. Sh Sherry! Tell me what I need to know. How can I save Sherry? I have detailed information. Everything you need to know to prepare the antidote is right here. 
So you've been a dick to us all game. And I've got to run around doing the parenting that you haven't done. Anyway, the absolute cheek of her, honestly. But this is the nice person that Claire is, you know. <laughs> she becomes a nanny and a scientist throughout this game. When all she did was just rock up on a Harley Davidson in the start of the game. Instructions for synthesis of the G-Virus antigen. G-Vaccine, codenamed Devil. Any beings infected by the G-Virus will reproduce through the impregnation of an embryo within another living being. Unless rejected by the host, the embryo will undertake a process of gradual cellular invasion, infecting the host cells on a molecular level as it rewrites their DNA. Once the metamorphosis is complete, the host will be capable of continuing this cycle of self-replication. The duration of time for the process to run its course will vary from subject to subject. In the early stages of cellular invasion, it is impossible to halt progression of the metamorphosis through the administration of the G vaccine antigen. The following procedure details its synthesis. The vaccine creation requires the base vaccine. This can be arranged by the activator VAM. First set the empty cartridge to the VAM and activate it. After several moments, the process will be complete and the white colored base vaccine will be set in the cartridge automatically. Then confirm the green light is on, move the cartridge and proceed to the next step. Once the base vaccine has been prepared, set it in the vaccine synthesis machine located in the P4 level experiment room. The machine is fully automated and it only requires the user to push the sheet, push the sequence start switch. I'm glad because I can barely string a sentence together right now. At this point, the program will run automatically and synthesis will be complete within approximately 10 seconds. As the synthesis of devil is an extremely delicate process, the quality will vary with slight shocks or changes in temperature. Careful handling is required for the proper results. <laughs> Holy shit, I've just seen in the comments, score PN. Mate, I, I've watched your videos. Say I've watched them for daughter. ages. Uh, and tell her I'm sorry I wasn't a better mother. Yeah, I'll oh, tell her that. Oh, Sherry. You sucked. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Annette! Let me start, she's been a dick to us all game. I hate it when this alarm goes off. I hate it, it just puts me under pressure. No matter how many times I've played this game. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Don't, don't start playing all that when I've got stuff to do. I'm just stamping on her head. Um, no, oh, Scorpion, thanks so much for uh, stopping by my stream. Oh, honestly, I'm honoured, man, because I watch your videos. Thanks so much. Absolutely love this game. It's my favourite, not only Resident Evil game, but game of all time. Um, and, yeah, I've just basically got, um, recently got an upgraded PC setup, so I'm able to, like, stream at a decent quality that I've wanted to for years. Here's our Leon. Leon, you made it. What a hunk on screen. I can see you on the monitor. <laughs> but never mind that right now. How can we miss them Leon, curtains? You have to go back and get Sherry for me. I left her in the security office. Please, you must save her. Wait a second. What are you going to do? Where are you going? Oh, thank God I he's still getting have a few loose ends to take care of. I'm counting on you. <laughs> she's so demanding. Earlier in the game, she was like, Leon, we're leaving. And it's like, now go pick Sherry up. I've dumped her, you've got to go pick her up. Leon's like, what? If it's not Ada pissing him off, it's Claire dumping this on him. Shit, I knew it, I knew it. But yeah, um, especially playing it on the Vita, I actually, oh shit. That was a, a scaredy shot, that. <laughs> that was a proper scared shot, that first one. Um, yeah, um, I've actually kind of got a Vita. I got it from um, a car boot for like two quid. Um, but they said it didn't work, so um, I need to get a charger to see if it does power on and see what the fault is and if I can repair it and whatever. So yeah, that's basically... Uh, if not, I'll, I'll get one in future. I plan to. It's just very expensive to collect for. It just seems that way anyway. Uh, Cask Strength Gamer, you're off. Th thanks so much, man, for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate you tuning into this stream because it is mega late as well <laughs> on a work night for lots of people. Uh, but no, thanks, man. Well, shit. Oh, I just avoided that. Oh, she's locking in on another one. My bad, my bad. It's a bugger this for the auto way. It's this one. I think there's a load of liquors in here. But yeah, we are near the end of the game. I just wish that alarm would come on so early. It's so annoying, man. Right. Anything in 
there. We're not going to use the bow gun anymore in this game. We've already security manual uh, in case of an emergency. In the instance of an uncontainable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed towards the underground transport facility. In the instance that any abnormalities are detected among cargo in transit, all materials will automatically be transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northern most route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route. This route will secure passage to the relay point outside the city limits. Disclosure about any information regarding research conducted here or the existence of this facility is strictly prohibited. Of course it is. Since it is top priority to keep all research classified, escape access may be denied under certain extenuating circumstances. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks so much, Scorpion. Um... <laughs> no, honestly, I'm, I'm honoured that you're in the stream, man. Uh, it's so good. After I've, I've watched like lots of your videos, I've been subscribed to ages. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for stopping by. Cause I, like, I understand like, how, you know, th there's loads of uh, gamers and stuff on YouTube, and it, you know, um, I see lots of familiar names, but to see, you know, whoa, shit, whoa, shit. Let me get out. <laughs> I might reset them. Um, no, to see people stopping by, um, you know, people like yourself. Um, oh shit, I don't fancy going back in there, you know. I don't think, think there's anything back in there. I'm a bit freaked out because that nearly took me out then. It'll be fine, I'll just go back in. Oh man, I'll tell you in just a sec, man, on the Outbreak games. Hang on. Shit. I'm not usually that bad at the liquors, man, jeez. Um, I've, I've just done it to be a bit of a completionist. There we go. Um, oh man, honestly, the Outbreak games, I've tried to get on with them. It, well, to be fair, it's mainly the first one. And I got a bit disheartened, to be honest, because... Um, the problem was, are they actually playable solo? Because I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm not an, an absolute noob or anything on the Resi games, but I found it difficult um, because... Right, not that way, yeah. Um, I found it difficult when because the problem was I was kind of going about my own thing. There's other people, um, obviously other characters, uh, controlled by the AI. I'm going this blue rope to uh, do that, register that fingerprint. Um, yeah, and it, it, the problem was I needed key items, I needed keys, I needed other things, and the AI was like picking them up, and like, I was wondering for ages why I couldn't find them, and then it turns out, you know, so-and-so had this item and so stuff like that, I was like, what? Do you know what I mean? Um, cool, so that'll be on the scenario B. So we've at least registered that fingerprint, we use that, that's useless now. Um, but yeah... I just found it difficult because I was going in and out of rooms trying to work out what to do and all that lot and people were just collecting things if you know what I mean and I couldn't keep up with it um, so yeah I do want to give them another go um, I don't know if you well that, that's a really stupid question I don't know if you I'm sure you've heard of the channel Residents of Evil uh, they're an absolutely incredible channel I love watching them um, one of my favourite channels and um, I've seen bits and bobs of their outbreak videos I've I've been meaning to watch like the full like playthroughs because I usually watch their full playthroughs. I love them. Um, yeah, I was going to kind of watch uh, their full outbreak one to kind of just kind of learn from them, uh, see how they play it and stuff. And just just get an overall gist of what to do or bits to look out for the items and stuff. So yeah, I'm an absolute noob on the vaccine uh, cat. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just a noob on them games, um, so I'll probably enjoy them once I uh, yeah if I give it a good go. Do I need to press some? Oh, there we go. I thought it was. So we need to finish uh, synthesizing the vaccine, use the Emodis, and we are on our merry way to the final boss. Hell yeah! Like a boss. The boss is on the way to the boss. I'm not really a boss. Really. <laughs> she likes to think. I'm, I'm really shook up, you know. Um, 
that oh that liquor thing really shook me up because that, that nearly swiped my head off and I've not saved in a little while. I saved just before the the Birkin boss on the on the train bit. Jeez. Right, so yeah, we're back down here. I hope no liquors have respawned. I've just taken them out. I like to take out like um like like I said earlier in the stream. I like to take out the uh all the stuff. I, I don't like things roaming around. So when I have the means to do so, <laughs> the ammo, I do take them out. All the plants, the liquors and stuff, it's an absolute pain. <laughs> so yeah, you're currently playing Outbreak 2. I think, I think it's Outbreak 2. Isn't that one where there's like a, a zoo level and it's full of shit creatures? You know you're at the end of the game when you see the naked zombies. You know it. Oh, so you actually, um, so Scorpion says, when he first played the Outbreak games, he didn't get that into them. When he decided to try 100% the games, so I can make a deep analysis bit for each scenario. Yeah, that's fair enough, man. Um, I think my problem is I just need to um, give them a chance again. I, I just kind of lost my shit with it. Um, so, oh, man. I forgot how many there were. Damn. Oh, look at that. It the arm's still attached to her. Um, yeah, I, I will give them another go. I think I'm going to watch a little bit of the uh, Residents of Evil, watch uh, JJ and Corey go through those. I'd love them get... Well, I'd, I'd, I say I'd love them to acknowledge my existence. I'd love them to see uh, see my channel, my, like my Resi playthroughs. And that. It'd be absolutely incredible. But yeah, I've commented in the streams before and they've, they've like read my comments out and things like that. Um, as soon as I've got the means to, <laughs> i.e. payday, uh, in a few days, I'm going to uh, subscribe to the channel, um, probably part of the Bravo team, I reckon, um, for, uh, so, I can, so I can go to their after parties <laughs> after the live streams, because I'm always pretty good at missing out on the after parties. So uh, yeah, and it'd be cool to just kind of make a bit of a, like I say, monthly donation to them. Um, so I watch so much of the content. It's well deserved. The incredible channel. I, honestly, I have heaps of praise for them. Massively. They're just so good to chill out to. Still no dialogue, is there? I really thought there was dialogue for Annette and uh, Brian Irons when he uh, when he died. I'm not going to say any Fs in the chat for Annette or Brian Irons, though. Two of the creepiest characters ever. I'm, I'm literally getting shudders from rereading his diary. I've not read the diary for ages since I, uh. Oh. Yeah, since I played this. Whoa. Such a creep. That's what it did for me. The AI could be an. Oh, yeah. On Outbreak. If, if any of you guys have, um, have played Resident Evil Outbreak. Jeez. Um. Like I say, I'm sure they are great games. It's it's me. I've not given them a chance, so I can't I can't go around slating them on this channel. Um, yeah, the AI could be annoyed when you try to basically speed in a scenario. You learn to allow yourself instead of two weapons. Sometimes they surprise you. Yeah, so you can get presently surprised. That sounds good. Um, I'm just thinking. Um, Oh, that, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm going to load up here because obviously we've used the MO disc. I just can't remember if there's another box before the boss, to be honest. So, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Um, but yeah, um, I get you. Maybe you just have to kind of learn the game, learn where things are, then you know obviously what rooms to run straight into. Um, yeah, I'll totally get you on that one. Uh, whereas I was, I was running around like a lost puppy and I was like, well, where do I go? And all that lot. Um, I might, I might bring the spark shot because that was freaking awesome against uh, that was awesome against the uh, train Birkin. I think that'll do us, guys. I think that will do us. And I'm gonna make a cheeky save. It's, it's, it's like our fourth save of the night, so I don't like to over save it, but I'm just doing it as a precaution. Um, but yeah. I like it when AI actually surprise you and they actually bring you something. It's like, oh, you bring me stuff? <laughs> awesome. Uh, I want to use 